friends! Hello! <laughs> Not me being all panicky about this or anything. Hi guys! <laughs> um, cosplay stream time! <laughs> Mary in the flesh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I definitely... So I definitely got way, like, ready way too early. That's fine. Ended up setting my glasses down and have been blind most of today. Because I couldn't find them. Because they weren't on my face. So that was fun. <laughs> but we're here. I'm so excited. I just... I absolutely 100% pulled a Velma. Wrong costume. Um, <laughs> it was fantastic. Well, it was like, I set him down to like, finish putting my makeup on and then take a couple of pictures. And then I was like, where'd they go? We can see now, everything is fine. Um, but yeah, Mary, Mary stream, Mary cosplay. <laughs> um, I forgot how much I love doing this. I forgot how much I like dressing up. It's it's fantastic and wonderful and fun. Um, but hi friends, welcome! It's the long-awaited cosplay stream where we attempt to get the good route for Reggie, our perfect, wonderful gentleman boyfriend. <laughs> um, oh no! <laughs> Even if it's good too, don't cry, Arcade! Oh my god! Um, yeah, I guess... I'll probably have to do this a couple of times for anyone who, like, shows up later, but, like, let's, let me, let's, hold on. Gotta keep the dress down, like, hello! <laughs> We've done it! Um, we'll just sit back here for a hot second. This is fine. Um, I love this. I, I love this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course I have the stockings. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do this, we're gonna do this. I will, <laughs> I will do what I can to get more pictures. Um, I was trying to set some stuff up earlier and didn't do too great. But I will try to get all of the pictures. <laughs> if not today, then later. Because let me tell you, <laughs> this dress is really hot. It's very warm. Um... But I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I've definitely been like mildly panicking uh, since I said I was gonna do this because I'm like, what if Arcade hates it? What if she hates it? <laughs> but we're fine. Everything's fine now. Um. <laughs> so yeah, it's great. Um, I'm excited. I'm stoked. I. I'm anxious as all get out, but that's fine. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, cause anxiety tells me that everything's terrible at all times. Um, no, <laughs> thank you. I super duper appreciate it. Uh, no, I'm very happy with it. Um, and I might have to make this a, a regular thing that we do. Not necessarily the Mary cosplay, but cosplays every so often because this is great and I love it. <laughs> Let me tell you how much of a pain in the ass getting my hair up like this was. Absolutely worth it. 100% worth it. <laughs> but yeah, is everyone- are we all- are we all so excited? <laughs> Ar Alright, we'll get a Waluigi going at some point. Like I said, I would- I would have been willing to do it this time, but I didn't have the necessary means to make it happen. And if I'm doing Waluigi, I'm doing Waluigi right. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I figure we could probably do cosplay streams every, like, every once in a while. Um, it takes a while to get that, that kind of stuff together. But, like, I'm here for it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna move my fan real quick, because like I said, it is very warm up here. Um, and then we can go ahead and get started if we're all, if we're all ready to do this. I guess, um... The only other question I have, the question that I've got at the moment is, do we want to start from the very, very beginning, or do we want to start just before we meet with Reggie? I don't think there are any super important choices before then. Um, 
So I guess that's up to up to up to y'all. <laughs> you guys get to choose on that. Um, we'll also probably stream a little bit longer than we normally do tonight. The the creator has spoken. <laughs> the beginning of his rap should be fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. I have a save just before then because I I planned ahead for once. I was. I was gonna make darn sure that this was gonna roll as smooth as possible. Hey, look, it's Emmy! <laughs> um, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, Alright, we'll start, like, just before, just before Reggie's, uh, just before we meet Reggie, um, and it'll be good. Let me go move my fan, like I said. It's hot. It's very hot. Also, I'm sorry if I flash you. I do have shorts on under this. Possible. Oh god, that's getting picked up, isn't it? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> um whew, whew. that is much better. I hope you can't hear it too much. Um, and if you can, well you're just gonna have to deal, because me not melting is more important than super clean, crisp audio. Um. <laughs> so I guess let's... Is this how you set these on? Is this how we make this? Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you can't hear it then. Um. <laughs> it's like, it's like I got those cat ear headsets, only it's my hair. <laughs> Only that's my hair. That's just what my hair do right now. Um, oh my god. All right. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm just gonna freak out this entire time. I'm sorry, I like also keep messing with my little tendrils over here. Um, seriously, that means like the world to me that you like it, Arcade. <laughs> um, realistically, I didn't think you would be like. I didn't think you would hate it or anything, but I was definitely like doing myself a concern for a bit because I was like, what if it doesn't, what if it doesn't work? What if it looks bad? <laughs> what if I've done it terribly? But we're here and it's fine. Everything is fine. I think I just like panicked a bit because like, I haven't made a proper cosplay in years, in like actual years. I've made stuff for other people, but I haven't like done one for myself in a while and so this seemed as as good a place to start <laughs> oh! all right this whole stream is just gonna be us this all just freaking out and crying and being very emotional it's fine let's not worry about it <laughs> also game you're so quiet i need you louder why are you so quiet hold on a second why did I turn you down so far? Alright. That should be better. Does that sound good to you guys? Too loud, too quiet, just right. <laughs> Sorry, my eyebrows are also just like... So concerned. <laughs> this is what... This is what we live for. <laughs> Everyone's just so excited. We're just, it's going to be like this amazing feedback loop of us being excited that you're excited and you're excited that we're excited and I'm excited that you're all excited. It's just... <sighs> okay, this little, this little hoop right here, kind of, kind of in my way. Okay, you want to, okay. All right, all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get settled in here for a second because I'm still just sort of like I said, floored. <laughs> I was I was so excited about this from the get go, but like now that it's happening, I'm even more just like hell yeah, hell yeah, we're doing this, we're making it good, everything's fantastic, like. <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, so yeah, like I said, I made a save yesterday, um, just before I think we choose where to go. Um, so we're in Blackwood. It's the city I grew up in, and I always really loved it. There's the library and the local stores, but my most favorite place to be is the Blackwood Cemetery. <laughs> You're just way down there. No, seriously. Oh. Okay, but your stuff is awesome, and like, your character designs are really great and really fantastic and super easy to cosplay, and I love that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Again, I'm just gonna be all like, we're just gonna be mushy this stream. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Don't you love it? Hi, let me tell you my story. <laughs> Right? This is, like, this is one of the big things that I wanted to do with, like, starting the channel was, like, getting to meet artists or other other creators of sorts and, like, just bonding and, you know, making new friends along the way, but also being like, look at this cool stuff! <laughs> People like this cool stuff! <laughs> Arcade's got cool stuff! Anyway. <laughs> um... <sighs> um, okay, I do have drinks, okay. Okay, we can use the skip button as needed. Um, I guess, do we want it? Do we want to read everything, or do we want to just go through important stuff? I guess this is, this is up to you guys. Um, because I'm down to stream for... An extra long time tonight um but i also don't want to keep everyone <laughs> and i know like the point is to get to um get to the ending so i can skip we can skip this i need to just choose the library first and for foremost <laughs> you're here you're here for the whole thing <laughs> um i think this is just before we get to choose I vaguely remember that. Or do we just want me to read scenes that, like, Reggie's in? <laughs> <laughs> no pre- I feel- I feel not- I don't feel pressured at all. Again, this is just kind of, like, what everyone else wants to do. I know it's- I do remember it's gonna- or, like, it took us quite a while to get- through it, but I think the last time it was us just freaking out about how good it was and taking a lot of time outside of the game as well. Um, but like, I'm I'm here for whatever. What does everyone want? <laughs> what are we all feeling? What are we? What are we? Yeah, what are we feeling here? <laughs> While well, everyone's deciding, I'll just keep reading. But I'll, I'll watch chat. Y'all let me know. I can always set up a poll, too, if that works. Um, I decided to go to the library. There's nothing quite like a good book. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say I agree, but I agree. But also, like, I love all your characters. <laughs> uh, my favorite kind of books are mysteries. Not necessarily murder mysteries, but mysteries in general. We, yeah, I mean, I think we have an idea, but we don't officially know who was phone. <laughs> but who was phone? <laughs> um, I'm fine with reading, but also don't mind skipping through some parts we are solid on. <laughs> who was phone is secret for now. Okay, um, if we're all cool with it, then I'll just read read the scenes with Reggie in it. I mean, I should have read all this. This is just talking about the books that Mary likes. Like, shoujos! Which, I didn't have any <laughs> for the pictures that I was posing with earlier. All, I, <laughs> all I've got are, like, horror manga. Surprise, surprise. And, like, case closed. Which, I mean, murder mystery, right? This works, right? Um. 
Yeah, I figure, like, once we start making choices again, we'll kind of skip through, but a little more slowly to kind of see what's going on. <gasps> also, our boy! <laughs> okay, anyways. Even long as I have a really sergeant frog, oh my god. <laughs> oh, fruity. I know a couple that you might dig that aren't that don't get weird like Deathmark do. <laughs> right? Reggie, our boy! Also, I don't think I noticed the little the little burb plush back here the last time, but it's precious and I love it. I need more I need more drinks. Oh my god. <laughs> when I got to my favorite spot, I noticed a man was already sitting there. I was surprised because usually this library was pretty empty. But this man, he's familiar. Yeah, he cut her tongue out, babe. <laughs> oh honey. <laughs> I've met him before. Oh, my apologies. Did I take your seat? <laughs> I was I think like the first time that we played through we noticed that that the plushies were the same also Embry. <laughs> My sweet baby. Oh, it's you. Mary. I was thinking about making one, but my sewing machine's a little buried at the moment, so I was having to borrow my mom's um for all the stuff that I had to do for this. But if Arcade's cool with it, I'm, I'm gonna- I'll make one. Obviously not to, like, just to have. Just to have! Because <laughs> it's cute and round and adorable. <laughs> uh, Marianta, yes? Uh, that's right. I remember you. From the funeral, right? Indeed. Do you remember my name? Reginald? That's right. It's a pleasure to see you here. I was hoping I'd run into you again one day. I, we can, we can, if you're up for it, we can talk about this. <laughs> we can, we can chat about this. I can make this happen. <laughs> I like, I like sewing plushies. <laughs> Just ask Amy. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> I hope that doesn't come off weird. You were just a, such a pleasant person to be around. You really brought life to that funeral. <laughs> get, get, see what see what he did there. Because <laughs> they're dead people at funeral. It's a dead person, at least. Singular. Hopefully. Uh, oh, really? Th thank you, I think. Uh, so, what brings you to the library today? Oh, well, I didn't really have plans, so I thought I'd check out a book or something. Likewise. What kind of book were you interested in checking out? We'll be honest. <laughs> um, I am. Um, I'm actually here to look for a shoujo manga. A uh, shoujo manga? What's that? Oh, um, it's like. Do you know what a manga is? I have an idea, but I can't say I've ever read one myself. Well, it's like one of those. But it usually centers around the romance between the two main characters. And sometimes there's, like, friends or rivals. But, but I, I really like the comedy ones. Because you get cute jokes mixed into the romance. But, but sometimes the drama ones are really cute, too. And they can get really intense. And, uh... <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> Reggie's gonna be one of us! He's gonna be a weeb like one of us! gonna be good don't worry about it <laughs> um i'm not good at explaining things <laughs> no worries i think you did a good job a shoujo sounds interesting perhaps i'll check one out myself i'm trying to be more open to new things after all <laughs> anyways what are you here to read excuse me i'm just like oh, my boy <laughs> <laughs> What if Reggie was one of us? Just a weave like one of us. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Oh my god. Uh, 
<laughs> we're oh god all right it's we're good everything is good <laughs> it's all fine um i'm reading manslaughter on the disorient locomotive <laughs> oh copyrights um oh i've been meaning to read that one too i love me some agatha christie though i think i said that last time too but mm. <laughs> uh do you want it then what oh no no that's okay please take your time just uh if you wouldn't mind would you tell me when you're done with it you know so i could maybe read it after i'm fine with that though i've already gotten pretty far and and i don't think i'll be finished today fin finished by today you have a cell phone yes yes reggie <laughs> people have cell phones <laughs> sorry um would it be all right if i have your number that way i can notify you as soon as i'm finished and well i'd like to try to be friends too if that's all right i just realized that it's like super hard to see chat at the moment can i fix that can we fix this i wish i need to find a better way to have chat like show up um on screen it's gonna disappear for a hot second Assuming I can figure out where chat box is hidden in all these settings. There it is. Um. Alright. It's gonna vanish for a moment, but then it'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, save me the book. Reginald, Reginald and I exchanged phone numbers. I was shocked he even remembered me. But I'd consider meeting him again a, a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I vaguely remember you mentioning that he's uh, technologically illiterate, and that's adorable to me. I That's absolutely adorable. <laughs> um, and one I really appreciated. After our exchange, I picked out a shoujo book from one of the shelves and began to read it in one of the other spots in the library. I ended up liking it so much, I looked for the other books and brought two or three with me to read later. It's true, he is perfect. <laughs> After I came home, had dinner, and cleaned the kitchen up, I began my usual nighttime routine. I got changed to pajamas, brushed my teeth, sat on my bed, and texted whoever they are. It's me again. Are you there? Yes. You're still not going to tell me anything, are you? No. Can I ask you something, even if you don't- or won't give me an honest answer anyways? Okay. Are you the Blackwood Butcher? Would I tell you who I was? I know, I love her room. <laughs> so much. Um... This all looks... The same. I think when I- so I did- I did skim very lightly over the- uh, the guide just to see what was up. These don't, these particular sections don't uh, determine your ending, right? Am I correct in understanding that? Also, I should probably start doing my saves again. Ouchies. have a poster that just says goth band honestly i mean i practically do in so many words okay cool 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 um then we'll probably just go through this way then um even if they're in my keeping for now i don't think i asked that last time hold on you're way too vague why'd you even contact me to begin with i thought you'd like to know about your parents I'm only trying my best to keep you happy. You think I'm happy? Maybe not now, but you will be. I have to go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> um, tried my best to sleep. It wasn't easy and I had a lot of difficulty trying. I don't remember exactly when, but eventually I was able to sleep, even if not peacefully. Dad? Oh, precious baby Mary. Yes, sweetheart. Um, 
I'm assuming that this is also the same because it's a memory. Right? Look at her hair. Look at how cute it is. Just look at how cute she is. <laughs> oh, right. This is uh, them being on their way to the funeral for the uncle that the that daddy doesn't seem to like. I don't, but... Listen, Mary, normally when someone passes, you hold a funeral for them, right? Yeah. The thing about funerals, though, is that they're for people who are worth remembering. Oof! <laughs> After I got out of bed, I made myself a small breakfast and got changed into my favorite outfit. Which one? This one? Corbin's gone and the bus I take out into town should be arriving any minute now. Where should I go today? Oh, save. Hold on. Okay, I'll save over that one, because that's the phone choice. Is he gonna be at the library again? I don't remember. <laughs> What's he doing? Ugh. We have to go through all of these, don't we, to meet everybody? Oh, I'm just gonna click I did just save, so it's fine. Let's go to the cemetery. I went to my favorite place, the cemetery. Reggie is there in our hearts. My boy. <laughs> uh, the cemetery is pretty much on the same block as my family's restaurant. Right next to it, in fact. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Croven and Vasilis are here, aren't they? How much does this skip? I'm curious. Oh, God. <laughs> it skips a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> but there's... There's the answer to that question. <laughs> Who's your friend? This is Vasilis. I met him at an arcade. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Sorry, Mary, but can you please go? I really just ha don't have the energy for this right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I do want to go... Okay, we'll skip. <laughs> since we're just... Since we're hyper fixating on Reggie, this is what we'll pay attention to for right now. I do want to do the other routes, and I don't know if I want to do that on stream, on secret stream, or just on my own. Maybe I'll just do that on my own and make y'all go support Arcade and download, download our game. Y'all should go download our game. Go, go, go support, go support our friend, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is gonna be so fast. I can, yeah, no, I definitely see it being um, useful. That's for sure. So we'll just skip all the filler. Get out of here. Get out of here, Twyla. I love you, but get out of here. <laughs> oh, wait, is this new? Hey, thanks for being quiet while I work. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem. What are you working on, if I may ask? So you're interested in what I'm doing here? Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Um, you seem to be, be very focused on it after all. Also, this coffee house logo. Perfect. <laughs> uh, as focused as I can be. What's your name? Me? I'm Mary. Twyla, nice to meet you got the secret to getting on Twilight's good side. Just don't say anything to her. <laughs> Just be absolutely silent and exist in the, in the general vicinity. <laughs> I feel that, though. <laughs> I love Twyla and her ridiculous eyebrows. <laughs> um, a report? Like, for school? N no. Have you noticed something odd going on in town recently? Something odd? I'm not surprised if you haven't heard about it. It's like the police are trying to dull suspicions. Or just arrest potential suspects so everyone can feel safe. Oh. Oh! Are you talking about the killing rumors? The Blackwood Butcher, right? Don't say it so loud. But, yes. 
How did you know? Oh, well, uh, I've been hearing the rumors for a while now. And actually, my aunt and uncle died pretty recently. They were, um, killed. Really? Uh-huh. That's actually pretty... How did they die? Oh, I... I didn't... I don't know. No one really told me, but... The circumstances were... Strange. Like, they didn't die naturally. There was definitely someone else involved? At least, that's what I've been told. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You know, maybe you can help me with this report. And, uh, some other stuff. Oh, I can? Yeah. If you're okay with that, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> I mean, having a killer around is bad, so if I can help, like, raise awareness or something... I mean, like, yes. I'd like to help you. Thanks. This'll really put me ahead. I have to go, actually. I'm running late for something. Here, give me your phone number. I'm not entirely sure I'll need your help, but I'd rather have a way to contact you, just in case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she really do. The best eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, Twilight and I exchanged phone numbers after she packed up her laptop and was uh, and was picked up by a car outside. Come to think of it, I didn't actually see her drink any coffee or order any food. I guess maybe she just finished before I got there. I don't know why she would choose such a noisy place to work, though. <laughs> Boyfriends. I ate leftovers for dinner and yawned more than once as I got in, uh, into a change of pajamas. Can we skip this now? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not showing them to anyone. Oh. oh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we gotta save. We gotta say hi to Reginald first. Duh. Good morning, Miss Marianta. I hope you're doing well today. You'd asked about that book the other day, right? Well, I actually finished it quicker than I expected to. I'd really love to give it to you, but I won't be at the library today. I'm actually going to be at the cemetery. You like that place, though, right? Where did this cat get in my lap? What the hell? <laughs> so polite. A real gentleman. <laughs> you should come see me. Then I can pass the book over to you. I'll be there a quarter after noon or so. Then maybe after we can grab lunch or something together? I hope that doesn't come off weird. I'd just like some company for my lunch break. Call me back. <laughs> if I just keep reading it, maybe it'll be fine. Oh, why are we still skipping? No, stop. <laughs> right, we want to- it's okay, we can hang out. I want to hang out. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm gonna have to disappoint everybody. Is this? Oh, no, exit phone. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Cemetery time. Gotta go meet our boyfriend. <laughs> it was a tough choice, but I had to choose one of the, it was not a tough choice. Let me, let me just put that out right there, right now. Like, no, we, we knew instantly. <laughs> I told the others I had plans and that I had met, uh, that I have to meet with them some other time. <laughs> We're still owed that damn forehead kiss. Don't you, don't you tease me. <laughs> Reggie still needs to hold our hand slash hug us slash kiss our foreheads. Please. <laughs> I, I need this? <laughs> um, then when noon rolled around, I headed to my destination. Reginald was not outside the cemetery gates as I had expected, so I delved deeper into the cemetery. At first I was worried he had already left, but eventually I was able to find him on one of the paths. He seemed to be looking at a few greys, as if he was looking for someone. I called out to him as to not startle him. He noticed me and waved me over, so I made my way over to him. Her boy! Her beautiful boy! <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, uh, Reginald. It's nice to see you. 
It's nice to see you too. This is where I from. Is it? <laughs> right at our first date. Our beautiful boy. Uh, it's nice to see you too. I'm surprised you showed up. I thought you might be busy such last minute. Well, even if you weren't here, I'd probably be here anyways. Besides, I wanted to see you. I thought it would be nice to talk again, since last time we were both preoccupied with books. I'm glad to hear it. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, and speaking of books, before I forget, Reginald handed me the book from the other day. Don't worry about checking it out at the library. I told them I'd be giving it to you, so I had them extend the due date under your name. Oh, uh, thank you, I think. I'm surprised they let you do that. Anyways, why are you here? They shouldn't do that. That's not proper library etiquette. <laughs> are you missing someone? <gasps> Cyril! Hello! Welcome! Hi, friend! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I feel cute. <laughs> Um, but hi, hello, how are you doing? How's it going? How was Pokemon Uranium? Full picture, do you want me to stand up again? Let me stand up. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. It's very difficult to show it all off from this distance. Because the camera doesn't like to keep all of us in, in frame, but. <laughs> Cute outfit. Also, my... Tights are falling down. <laughs> like I said, if I'm going to do a cosplay, I'm going to do it all the way. I do got to pull these up, though, because they're, they're slipping down. The knees are not where they're supposed to be. <laughs> um. <laughs> but hi, welcome. We're happy to have you here. Thanks for joining us in this wild, wacky ride. <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> Just call me Mary. That's me today, apparently. <laughs> um, Just lots of reading. Just hanging out. Feeling cute. Doing all the good stuff. <laughs> you know. You know how it is. This hair. This one hair needs to go away. I feel like I'm gonna, like, chomp on it a bit. Um, I know it has been too long since the funeral service, so... Oh, heavens no. <laughs> Sorry if I made you think that. I'm just here for business. Business? Do you work at the cemetery? Because I've never seen you around here before, you know? Oh, no, no. I agreed to meet the caretaker here, since they couldn't get off work. You see, I'm a coffin maker, and, well, someone's in need of a coffin soon. <gasps> oh, you're a coffin maker? <laughs> I mean, no one would think to look for a, a dead person in a cemetery, honestly. So uh, if you ever need to hide a body, just go ahead and do it in a cemetery. <laughs> Rika, hello, welcome. It's nice to see you. <laughs> I need a doctor because Reggie's got my heart and my tongue. Oh, yikes. <laughs> but hello, welcome, Riga. Nice to have you here. How is it going? <laughs> um, Gotta talk to our boyfriend some more. Oh, my God. I... You never told me that. That's a... Wow. That's a... Really neat, actually. <laughs> Are you impressed by that? Well, you know... I'm really into these things, you know? <laughs> I'm always here for a reason, after all. I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you sooner, then. <laughs> oh, no blame here. We're all, we're all hanging out and having a good time. <laughs> Rika, don't be mad at Fruity. Fruity's just being a lovely, lovely human being. <laughs> Um, if you really like coffins, I can show you a few I've designed. <laughs> Fruity's easy to pick on, but we love, we love, we love you, Fruity. <laughs> Don't go changing on us, buddy. 
uh, I have a portfolio back at home, but I'm sure I have a few pictures on my phone I can show you too. <gasps> oh, yes, please do. I'd really love to see it. Look at their faces. Reginald showed me a few pictures on his phone of some coffins he'd made. They were all so detailed and intricate. They seemed personalized to every per or to the person they'd belong to. I was taken aback. I could have stared at them all day if he'd let me. Mostly just because we could stand next to him. <laughs> Reggie, let me just stand next to you. <laughs> Please hold my hand. <laughs> wow, those were really beautiful. You really made those? I, I'd love to be buried in one of those one day. Oh, honey. <laughs> um, is that weird? Oh, no, you flatter me. I'm happy you like them so much. Uh, what's with that look? M what look? I wasn't making a look. Hmm. Sorry, I just had a sneaking suspicion. But no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Suspicion? About what? Oh, I was just thinking that you'd want me to design a coffin based off of you, too. This is a lovely little visual novel called Cemetery Mary. Um, it is a, uh, a free game on Itch.io done by the wonderful Arcade Kitten who is hanging out in chat doing their thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's a visual novel about dating Reggie. Um, we're here to, we're just here to hold hands with our coffin making boyfriend. 100% <laughs> about dating Reggie. Yes, please. Um. <laughs> Dating Reggie is also definitely a serial killer. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a fun quirk he has. We love him. We love him so much. <laughs> Shame on you for not. No, I can't, I can't say that because I haven't played the other ones. And I'm sure that Twyla and Croven are fantastic as, as is. I'm excited to, uh, for Twyla's, um, her route whenever I get to that. But also Reggie. Also my boy Reggie. Also my boy Reggie. My coughing ma coffin making boy Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> um, but also, yes. Also, yes. Make a coffin for Mary, yes. Twyla's so mean, I love her. <laughs> She's a little prickly, but, but that makes her endearing, right? Uh, wait, are you serious? I mean, I know I don't need it right now, but I, I, I'd be so happy if you did. I mean, we hardly know each other, and that's so generous. Oh, it's nothing, really. I thought someone like you would appreciate that offer, and I could always use a new muse. <laughs> Mary's your new muse? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Makes the coffins and the bodies. Hey, you gotta fill them with something, right? And sometimes, once one's done, there's no one to fill it. So you, you gotta make, you gotta make the demand for them. We call it innovation. <laughs> um, especially if it would make you that happy. <laughs> you just have to promise you won't go dying on me anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, sorry, I just... It really is. It really is. It gives you a chance to just really showcase your wares. <laughs> uh, the idea of it is so flattering. Do you really think I'd make a good muse for one? Absolutely. When we met, I remember you telling me about how much you loved this place. Who could ever be better for inspiration for my work? I know you love the cemetery, so we can stay here if you uh, a while if you want. But I will have to leave for my lunch break soon if you're still willing to join me. Oh, right. We can go whenever you'd like. Although, I do kind of feel bad. Croven invited me to lunch today, so... Who's Croven? He's my cousin. I don't know why I had that voice break. <laughs> Reggie and Owl are different. He say something questionable involving Simu. 
Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> Fruity. I mean, he's precious and soft like an owl, right? <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say he's my cousin. <laughs> I just got distracted by my voice break and then wondering what the heck was going on. Uh, I mean, we're not actually blood related and we're not like in-laws or anything either. His family has always just been really close to mine ever since we were kids. So I call him cousin, even though he's not one. Though sometimes he can feel more like an annoying older brother, especially with his nasty attitude lately. Nasty attitude? Yeah, he's been very easy to upset lately. Don't tell him this, Mary, or Reggie's gonna do a murder! <sighs> Cat when Twyla's the owl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Twyla's our lovely little angry owl. <laughs> Reggie is a puffer fish, it's true. Our phone even showed it as such. <laughs> They're not blood related because Corbin's a bird of Mary is a fish. Hey. <laughs> Evolution can do some wacky things, alright. <laughs> Reggie even goes with the string. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Go underwater, buddies. Um, though I guess I can't really blame him, and I know I don't really help. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here instead. You do? Absolutely. You shouldn't force yourself to be around someone who's making you feel so bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> really, Mary, you have to take care of yourself, you know? So let's go somewhere where we don't have to think about it. Don't worry about a boy like that. And if he ever really gets on your nerves, you can always give me a call. <laughs> no <laughs> Sorry. Knowing what we know now. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, Reggie. <laughs> I won't mind. I understand how frustrating some people can be sometimes. Is this what happened to your landlady? Reginald. Reginald. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry about a boy like that. Worry about a man like me. <laughs> Murder. It's great. We love it. <laughs> you, you mean that? Thanks, Reginald. That means a lot to me. Of course. Come now, let's get going. Oh, and on the way, maybe you can recommend one of those shoujo mangas to me? I've been meaning to find one to read. Okay. <laughs> Reginald and I went to find somewhere to eat on his lunch break. Even though I hadn't known him for long, he was treating me as if we were always friends. <gasps> always dating. No, sorry. Um... <laughs> Twyla murder do gotta be gay and do crimes. That's a good that's a good question. I haven't done Twyla's route yet, so I can't say for certain. I don't assume so. She could probably murder somebody with her death stare, though. <laughs> We've indoctrination! Yay! It's good times. Uh even though I hadn't known him long, he was treating me as if we were always friends. It was a strange feeling, but I can't say it was one that was unwelcomed. He talked so casually, without pauses or hesitance in his voice. <laughs> Absolutely. Drawing that distinction, particularly in this relationship, very, very important. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I couldn't understand why. It just felt so bizarre. And not even in a bad way. I just... Maybe I'm still not used to making friends. But I was glad I had a chance now with someone who was so cute and sweet and precious and perfect. Before we could decide on anywhere to go, Reginald received a phone call. It was a client of his. He looked at me apologetically and told me he had to leave right away. I told him it was alright and we parted ways. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> After he left, I headed back to the cemetery. I didn't see anyone else there the rest of the day. I never know if that's a good thing or anymore. When I got home that night, I did my usual routine. And to finish it off, I plopped on my bed and took out my phone, just like usual. Reginald, you want to kiss me so bad it makes you look stupid, Tetra. <laughs> Our perfect, beautiful boy. I love him. I just want to pinch his cheeks and pet his hair. Just... <laughs> Please and thank you. Um, we skip through this. Now I'll get to see my parents again? Well, alright. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh shit, wait, what? What is happening? Wasn't in the mood to talk to anyone. Oh, <laughs> can't sleep. Krovin was acting normal. Oh, okay, we're just we just need some space. I just wanted to make sure that Reggie hadn't asked us out to breakfast or something. <laughs> uh <laughs> Does Reggie braid his hair when he goes to sleep? Or put it in a ponytail. <gasps> Can you imagine Reggie with a braid though? It now, Arcade. <laughs> Perhaps Reggie never sleeps. So he's me. So just forever awake. Never sleeping. Always, always doing stuff. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that poor man. Uh, he responded with a simple okay, and after that, I was out the door. I just wanted to go to that place. And not be bothered. Oh shit, are we going to the cafe? Is that already? Is this happening already? On the bus ride there, all three of them texted me again. Crobin said he noticed I left pretty quickly and I hoped I wasn't upset. Er, I hoped and hoped I wasn't upset with him for his behavior lately. Um, I mean, obviously. He never uses it. Someone has to. Here, Mary, sleep in my bed. It's brand new. Never once has been has it been used. <laughs> um, Twyla talked about some of her progress on her research, and Reginald said he'd be at the cemetery again today. Although I appreciated their messages, I really just needed to be alone. You can be alone with Reggie. I needed to go back there and just relax. No, that's not the right word. I wasn't going there to relax. I was going there to mourn. Oh. The Dying Red. It's where I grew up. Rigpunzel, Rigpunzel! <laughs> oh, our beautiful boy. I'm telling you, I would be happy just brushing Reggie's hair. Or existing in the same room as him. Just hanging out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just don't want anyone to take this in a terrible, creepy fashion. I just want to hang out with the serial killer. That's all. <laughs> Oof. I mean, facts. <laughs> I've said this about a few other people, but I would definitely let Reggie murder me. It'd be fine. I just, I would just let it happen. Be like, yeah, all right. Day has come. <laughs> Let's go, my dude. I lived my whole life in this diner. Restaurant? Bistro. I never know the right word for places like this. We always had such silly names for it since it was next to the cemetery. The restaurant in peace sometimes. The diner. Even just simply dine dead. <laughs> What gave you that impression? <laughs> Went for murder first head kiss in a second. I mean I'd take I'd take a head kiss. It'd be fine. Oh 
music. There you are. Um, which one did we do last time? I think it was Halloween party. My 13th birthday. Not to say I didn't enjoy my following birthdays or previous birthdays, but my 13th birthday was especially enjoyable. That was the day my parents got me a tarantula. I had been begging them for months, and they finally gave in and let me get one. I always loved tarantulas, despite the way others often view them. Or maybe it was in spite of how people viewed them. But I always knew they were gentle, if you were nice to them. The way you should be. I picked the biggest and fuzziest one they would allow me to get. I named her Shelly. And I'd collect seashells to put in her enclosure. I even put cute little bows on the outside of it. Also, Mary and Shelly? Like, like Mary Shelly? Like, like the author? Get it? Fucking get it? Do you get it? <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> this is what I live for. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> That's a good one. Also, Devo, come here. Come here. My sweet boy. Oh, oh, oh. My beautiful child. No, look. I need you to look at everyone. Yes. Yes. That's a good boy. That's a good child. Yes, hello. This is Devo, my sweet, sweet baby. What are you doing? Why are you wet? Why is your chest wet? No, no that doesn't answer the question, bud. dunk yourself in the water? Yes, we have many cats. There's Devo. Here's... Ooh, fucking grab her. Here's Lamia. Hi! She's a sleepy girl right now. My little crescent child. <laughs> it's the llama cat. She is the sleepiest. I'm sorry, baby. And then Farley's somewhere around here. He's been making the rounds today. <laughs> it, it, it's true. It is a surprisingly uh, common question to be asking your cats. Mine in, mine in particular. Lamia likes to like put her face into the water. Um, and Devo occasionally also does it. Also, hey David, how's it going? <laughs> um... And yeah, some of our other cats like to hop into like into the bath while you're taking a shower, and that's a little awful at times because you're like, "Hey, cat, go away! <laughs> I am covered in soap and need you to leave." <laughs> Thanks, though. <laughs> she gotta. She really do gotta. Hi, children. You be nice to her, Devo. Devo! Hold on a second. Thanks, Jody. Go, get. <laughs> Hi, welcome, friends. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Y'all made it to the cosplay stream. <laughs> I like that one, Rika. <laughs> Cosplay! <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, Travis. <laughs> Rocky! Oh. We do gotta fit, we do gotta watch Rocky Horror at some point in the near future, because I love that movie. <laughs> Absolutely. This weekend, tomorrow we're gonna watch Bad Ben, and then... Uh, I mean, we could probably watch Rocky Horror next weekend. Right? There's so many names. There's so many people here right now. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Don't even worry about it. Um. <laughs> right? That's true. I don't know where your Reggie is. We gotta get through this. <laughs> 
that's true, it wouldn't be a bad Halloween or a Halloween stream. But like we should definitely like watch it before then. But we should do we should definitely do like audience participation Rocky uh as like a Halloween movie. Look at you being smart. Um I'm gonna keep reading. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Uh, I always wanted to show Shelly to others, but of course, they didn't like her as much as I did. I really loved Shelly, but she ended up getting sick. Really sick. None of the vets could even figure out what was wrong with her. Oh. <laughs> Around some time last year, she died. I was so miserable, I didn't even want to eat. But my mom knew my weaknesses. She began making all my favorite foods for me, and it was hard being hungry and miserable at the same time. Even though it was just food, it helped me feel a lot better. Standing here, it's almost as if I could smell her make still making it. And Dad would sit with me on the counter and make sure I got my fair share of Dad puns for the day. <laughs> Shelly! <laughs> Barely knew her. Sounds like she was perfect. <laughs> always. Always Dad jokes. <laughs> I loved being able to sit with them and eat and just joke around, but now it was all covered in dust, and no one's here. Where should I go? This is a pro-pun stream. We uh, support all puns here. I decided to head up to my room. My real room. Look at it! Look at it! Also, it's that there's a big old crack behind that poster. Um. Ah! Sorry, I just noticed the little the book, the Blackout Hospital book over there. Arcade. Look at you. <laughs> also, this little picture of Crovin and Mary. Oh my god! So don't we have to leave and not create a visual novel? <laughs> no, stay, cry with us. <laughs> you put out the same stuff as her too. I just knew, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think last time we went into her parents' bedroom and I wanted to see this bedroom. Also, I have, I have, I too have a haunted doll in my bedroom. Had a hus or blackout hospital plans for a long time. She'll be my magnum opus until my next magnum opus, of course. Of course. Of course. I'm very excited about it. The, uh, all the little sneak peeks we keep getting are very good. Uh, as I stepped inside, I felt strangely happy. I don't have the baby Jesus in my bedroom. Hold on. Am I showing off my dolls? Hang on a second. Haunted doll time. Haunted Doll Watch. Haunted Doll Watch! Haunted Doll Watch! Huh. There we go. Also, yes, our new wonderful, lovely little camera roll done by Emmy. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, so I've got my precious little skinned doll that Jody got for me. We love, we love her. And then we got the haunted baby Jesus that I stole out of a Republican, a Republican neighbor's uh, yard at one point. That's a thing. <laughs> I too have haunted dolls. 
And now they're gonna sit next to me the entire stream, and I kind of hate that. <laughs> I did! I did fall in the snow, so I had to, like, crawl through the ditch to get up into their yard. Um... <laughs> I have a form. Those count. Those count. <laughs> Isn't it great? Isn't our little Kimmerold so good? I did do the tights. So yeah, I realize there are new people in here. So let's like, let's get in. Let's get in on this. We got the tights, which again have fallen past my knees. E <laughs> and the cute little dress. I tried to scallop the edges a little bit. Didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. But that's okay. <laughs> oh god. Cat toys everywhere. <laughs> Kimrol do has a for does have a form now. <laughs> um and she's very very precious. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's it's mostly just me being like there are things that I could that I could do a little differently and do a little better for next time because um, I think this is gonna be a, a staple in my closet now. I will probably remake the dress um, so it's not plastic because oh boy, <laughs> oh boy is it hot. Um, sorry, let me find a better place to put these dolls so I'm not blocking my air. <laughs> oh oh baby, oh that baby's head is squishy. Love that. Love that for us. Um. <laughs> again, I'm just so happy that everyone likes it. Air is important. <laughs> we like it when air moves around. Um. <laughs> also, no, okay. Mary's bedroom is perfect. The crack in the wall does make me nervous, though. <laughs> uh, I miss my old room and all my stuff. I felt so nice to be back, even if it, if, even if I wasn't staying. Just, the sense of familiarity made me feel so Always demons. <laughs> this is- <gasps> Cyril! Eily, 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 this cosplay is iconic. Can't rule, that's not how we say that. I forgot to update our dang subs! Dang, dang sub image. I'm going to write that down so I remember to do that because that should also be Kimmerold. But Cyril, thank you for the three months! With the prime sub. My goodness. <laughs> you wonderful human being. Um, update. Sub icon. Okay, cool. <laughs> we love you too. Ah! I was so, I was so focused on getting the bits one updated that I literally forgot everything else, but that's okay. Um, Reminder, we do have uh, sound effects set up, though, um, on stream. If you just, like, hover over or click on um, the, like, the actual stream itself, you can find all the cool sounds that we've added. <laughs> you're nearly done with the bits, Kim Rold? Holy shit, Emmy, you're getting through it. My god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for everything that we're doing. Also, yeah, this is like a... A super hype stream, and I'm here for it. <gasps> but now I've gotten all excited, and it's hot again. <laughs> um, that's exciting. We like not working. <laughs> um, I wish I was able to take some of the stuff back home with me, but I didn't have anything to carry it in. Zero wants a hydrate. I can do that. I've got I've got vitamin water and a shrimp check. Oh dang. Okay. And a stretch! Oh my god, Cyril. Let's, let's do a stretch. Let's get a good, good stretch in there. <laughs> Self-care check. I should do, like, I should have a bundle for all three of those. <laughs> That's not the water, but I wanted a soda. Yes, med check, drink check, drink your water, grab a snack, take care of yourselves, try and stay cool, <laughs> right? So that's the thing that we like to do is if I have to, if I have to do 
a shrimp check and a hydrate and a stretch. Y'all gotta do a shrimp check and a hydrate and uh, and a stretch. Cause like if, if I gotta take care of my own dang self, y'all gotta take care of your own dang selves too. So <laughs> dinner is important. Gotta we gotta take care of ourselves, y'all. Fruity moys remind me as well. That's I mean that's the thing. Like I know like I've not necessarily with streams, but in general, like I've sat at my computer for ages before and like forgotten to drink water every once in a while. So if I have like I'll have a stream up in the background every once in a while, and if they do like a hydrate reminder, it's like, oh shit, I should do that too. We all gotta take care of ourselves. <laughs> and if we can remind each other, let's freaking go. <laughs> ah, this is fun. I love this. I love this for us. Also, Mary, you got arms. You can you can carry it in your arms. <laughs> uh, what was the last time I was even in this room? Oh, Mary. I was decimating Nessius, but I will do self-care desks now. It can wait a second, but you should definitely do it. You should definitely take care of yourselves. Did you did you did you beat him, by the way? Did you did you do it good? Um, I sat on my own bed. It was just as comfy as I remembered it. The bed in the cabin was nice, but it just couldn't compare. I missed having a canopy above me. I've had this bed ever since I was a little girl. I remember dad tucking me into bed and reading me bedtime stories when I was too fussy to sleep right away. <laughs> She got a mouth. Open it with your mouth or like kick it open with your foot. We got him. Nice! Yeah, you gotta you got you got a little time to prepare for Hades though. It's all good. <laughs> um it didn't take me or it didn't take long for me to start crying. I missed my bed. I missed my house. I missed my parents. I remember my mom wishing me a good night one day. And then disappearing the very next. I hadn't heard from them since. I can do the exact same thing, Fruity. It's not, it's not just you. <laughs> they, they could be dead right now. And I wouldn't even know. I don't want to think about that. But could I really ignore the possibility if it meant... I just hated the situation I was in. Every little thing about it. I wanted to scream, but what good would that do? I felt helpless. All I could do was sit, cry, and wait for it to be over. Mary, can I give her a hug? <laughs> I ended up falling asleep in my old bed. I can't. I cannot do that. I can pretend. <laughs> I can't actually do that, though, unfortunately. I was already exhausted from my lack of sleep, and crying certainly didn't help in that respect. When I woke up, I was unaware of how much time had passed. But I felt groggy, and I didn't think I should stay any longer. It'd probably just make me feel worse. <laughs> Only automatic things. <laughs> Fruity! I got up from the bed and began to head back downstairs. It wasn't until I got to the bottom of the stairs that I noticed... Someone was here. Some stranger kneeling over in front of the doorway for whatever reason. I was almost frozen in my spot. Who were they? Why were they here? No one should have been able to get in. This place was locked up. That's right. I unlocked it. Crap. I stood there hoping they wouldn't see me. The way they were dressed with baggy dark clothes and their hood up told me they were most likely bad news. Did they follow me in here? I- <laughs> As somebody who usually wears dark baggy clothing and continues to have her hood up, I'm feeling personally attacked by Mary right now. <laughs> Please don't call him a shadow monster. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Instantly uncomfortable. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. I thought about trying to escape out the back way or sneakily head heading back upstairs if need be, but as soon as I took a step back, I can't with shadow monsters, man. I tripped slightly and let out a small yelp as I caught myself on one of the bar stools. 
Stranger immediately bolted outside. You scared him! Wait! I wasn't able, e even able to get a good look at him. For a split second, I considered trying to chase after them. And even if that wasn't a stupid idea, they ran much faster than I could, uh, than I could keep up with anyways. Panicked and slightly shaking, I took out my phone. I was so nervous, I pressed it to my ear without even having dialed anyone yet. But who would I call? Reggie, obviously. The police? No, I can't do that. I was already in here when I wasn't supposed to be, and I don't want to put any kind of attention on myself. But I can't just call nobody. I have to tell someone about this. Who? Who do I go to? Uh, Reggie. Duh. <laughs> Save me, Reginald! I quickly called Reginald. He was close by, so he could get here quickest. And maybe on his way over, he might see that intruder. Come on, please pick up. Hello? Mary? Reginald? Reginald, you're in the cemetery right now, right? Yes. Why? Can... Can you come over here? Over where? Next door, the diner. I'm here and I really need your help. Help? What's wrong? What happened? I'll explain it once you're here. Can... Can you please just come over? Certainly, I'll be there momentarily. Thank you. It was only a few minutes before Reginald got here, but it felt like hours to me. <laughs> Reggie, can you come over? I need a kiss. I mean... <laughs> At the very least, he could hold my hand. I have been deprived of the Reggie handholds for so long now. Uh, once he arrived, he commented on how shaken I looked and asked what happened. <laughs> it is an emergency. I told him everything about how my parents were missing and how I wasn't supposed to be here. I asked if he had seen any hooded person on his way over looking like they were in a rush, but he said he didn't see anything. He wasn't really sure what he could do to help, but he offered to look around with me and we could see if uh, they left anything behind. I thought that sounded like a good idea at the time. It made the most sense in my head. We started in the dining area and slowly worked our way upstairs. I guess I must have looked really scared because the way, uh, the look Reginald gave me when he faced me again looked so worried that it worried me even more. He reassured me that I didn't have to worry, offered to hold my hand to help me calm down. I accepted. We looked around, but couldn't find anything uh, suspicious left behind. I read that as spacious for a second and was like, that makes no sense. However, when we checked my parents' room, I noticed one of my mother's necklaces was missing from her drawer. It was the necklace my father had given her for their anniversary a few years back. Is there kids playing on the highway outside her house? Well, if they die, they die. <laughs> These fucking dummies. He's holding our hand, all of our collective hands. <laughs> all of our hands are just in a pile and he's holding all of them. Perfect. Beautiful. But she couldn't have taken it with her. I remember seeing it here, checking the diner after my parents first disappeared. Did they take it? That thought put my stomach in knots. To think they must have been in here while I was dozing off in the other room. Oh god. I don't... I... Mm. Eventually, we gave up on looking. There was nothing else of note, and it's not like we could really do anything else right now. We headed back downstairs. At the very least, having Reginald here was able to calm me down some. Like, in a <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mary, I'm very sorry I wasn't able to help you as much as you would have liked. What? No, don't say that. I- you helped me a lot. I'm very glad you came. Really, I... I feel a lot better. Really? You're sure? Yes, thank you. Well, I'm glad I was able to help in at least one regard. You know, I was wondering why this place had closed down so suddenly. I had no idea it was because its owners went missing. A shame, too. I know I had only been here when we first met, but I would have loved to come again. I'm sorry, that was a wrong choice of words. I didn't mean... No, it's... I'm fine. It's fine. It'll open again once they come back. 
Well, for your safety, then, can you please not come in here until they get back? Hmm? I don't know who was in here earlier. Yes, you fucking do. Yes, you do. Anyway, but there's a possibility they might come back. They could be dangerous, right? And what if you got hurt? You have to look out for yourself, Mary. I'm sure you miss your parents dearly, but they wouldn't want you putting yourself in danger now, would they? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I never even thought of it that way. You're right. I'll lock this place back up again. Then, at least if that person does come back, at least they can't get in. How many arms does Reggie have? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Why would Reggie lie to me? I just... <laughs> I mean... I've already said I would let him let him do a, a murder on me, so like it's fine. But like, come on, come on. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Here, let's go. Why don't you walk around the cemetery with me? Sure, it'll at least feel better than staying here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I think I'd like that. Thank you. I let Reginald take me to the cemetery, away from the diner. He told me to show him all my favorite spots. Occasionally, he'd ask about a decorated grave, ask if I knew who the person was. I wish I was able to have more answers for him. The rest of my day was pretty hazy. Couldn't stop thinking about what had happened. I didn't really feel any sort of relief until I got into my bed that night. But you know, that's never a relieving part of the, my day anyways. Oh, Mary. Hello, again. I think we can skip this. Oh! Oh, it's the, it's the scary dream! It's mom. The answer is mom. <laughs> Cemetery walks are the best. Honestly. She's not fine, though, Mary. <laughs> oh, no. It's not great. <laughs> when she asked, were you one of her friends? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just like to hang out here. Uh, we'll just be straight up. No, <laughs> at least I don't think so. Oh, well, it was my darling Minspella. She passed just last week. My condolences. Forgive me if this sounds rude, but what is your relationship to her? Me? Oh, yes. I'm... I'm Spella's mom. I never met you before, have I? I think this is all the same? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... She was young, wasn't she? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, crap. I chose a different option than I did last time. Alright. Much too young for this. Right as things were going her way. She was going to get married in a few months. None of us thought her condition was this bad. It's been cancelled, of course. Her life for the wedding! <laughs> I need clarification on that. So you realize too late I could have nicknamed her Minnie, but instead I went for Stella. I think it's a cute nickname, honestly. <laughs> oh. There are so many Minis in the world. How many spellas are there? Mary's the only person allowed to have an M name. What about mom? Okay. Mom is an M name. But at least she's wearing the dress now. I'm sure she looks beautiful. Oh, she was always so beautiful. My darling angel was always too beautiful. She never even got to... Oh, look at me. I'm going to start crying all over again. I promised her I wouldn't. I'm sorry. Do you think she's scared? She's all alone now. I feel like I know this. I'm sure she's happy. After all, look how many people came to say goodbye. And what about Mareggy? <laughs> Mareggy? Oh! Oh! No! Oh, no! That was... Well... Dang, 
hold on. Is it fine? <laughs> it's not fine. I don't remember the things he wants. It's not. It's not fine, Arcade! <laughs> you don't... <laughs> it's not okay! You can't expect me to remember what items he wanted from... However long ago it's been since we last played. I remember an axe, that's about it. That's the only thing I remember. And rat poison? That's it. That's all I know. Because <laughs> I was like, ah, yes! Traditional, traditional serial killer items. Um, I mean, I could have, but we don't get to look at him as, as much. <laughs> but I want to see him more. <laughs> uh, to my surprise, someone was there waiting for me on the sidewalk. It's a boy. Um, you should be able to do it on, on mobile. I think you, like, you'll click on the stream screen, and then you'll click on the little, like, the sound alerts icon, and that should pull up, um, all of the sound alert options. I hope that made sense. I hope what I just said made sense. Just imagine I can't believe you. <laughs> no, you should, so you should be able to, like, um... I would try and show you on my phone, but it won't light up. But yeah, if you click on it, it'll have like a little, like, you know, icon with headphones. You can click on that and it'll give you all the, the sound, the sound options. <laughs> Reginald, what are you doing here? Oh, I just happened to be walking by when I noticed you in there. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. Everything's fine. She wasn't like a family member or anything like that. Oh, that's a relief. Broadcaster Source is currently offline. What? Hold on a second. Try it now? I mean, stream is up, but, uh, sound alerts isn't. What the heck? I'll see if it is, see if it's up now. I don't know if it is, though. weird wild i yeah i don't <laughs> it's always fun trying to like describe how those how those like at or the uh extensions work to other people because what i see and what you guys see is very different <laughs> um oh that's a relief dang if not i can uh mess with it and make sure that it works for the next stream i'm sad i added a bunch of fun ones <laughs> Also down for you on mobile. What the heck? Why? It's not working on desktop. I wonder if it's an extension issue then. I wonder if they're having problems. Weird. Yeah, I'll mess with it uh, later tonight so that we can have it up and ready for tomorrow. I'll try and make it work for tomorrow. <laughs> um... <laughs> Enjoy that, Jody. <laughs> oh goodness. Um Yeah, it should be up and running. I don't know. Wild. Dang you extensions. Um it's always a sad thing, is it not? Yes, it is. It's okay. I know you don't see it that way. <laughs> Fuck you chicken strips! <laughs> Hmm? Well, since you're here, would you mind helping me with something? Oh? I was just about to head down to the store to pick up a few things. What are you picking up? Just some screws, nails, a hammer or two. Just some stuff I'm running low on or need to replace. You want my help for this? 
I'm not very educated in tools and all. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you guys are trying, at least in chat. <laughs> but if people have suggestions for uh, sounds I should add, let me know, because I can upload my own. Uh, oh, no, that's right. All right. You don't need to be. I just appreciate the company is all. But if you'd rather not... Oh, no. I mean, yeah, I can come. <laughs> the flowery kind. It's not like I have anything better to do. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, come with me. I hope you don't mind that we uh, that we'll have to walk. I would have brought my car, but it was too nice of a day to pass up the chance to walk. In the rain? Rightly so. I I think I said this last time too, but I love going for walks in the rain. I like the rain. A little water never hurt anyone? Unless it did? Well, I guess you've got a point. Reginald's logic didn't really make sense to me, but I decided to accompany him to the hardware store anyways. It's not like I ever go there, so it'd be a nice change of pace. He's a fish, of course he likes the water. <laughs> then what's Mary's excuse? <laughs> uh, come to think of it, I didn't actually know where the hardware store was located until Reginald showed me. Serial killer slow hardware stores. I need that to be said with the same energy as, like, bitches love cannons. <laughs> Serial killers love hardware stores. Serial killers are us. Oh no. <laughs> Mary is a sea pancake. Sea pancakes need water too, okay? <laughs> I guess it's good that I know now. It's true, she is best sea pancake. If someone asks me where the hardware store is, I'll know how to answer. The hardware store wasn't too far away from where we were, but it felt like quite the walk since I didn't know how to get there. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I've ever actually been to the hardware store. As Reginald held the door open for me, the, sm uh, the smell of fertilizer wafted forward. Where is my chapstick? There it is. Quite intense. We entered into what looked like the gardening section. Screw, he says, eat more screws! I do, I do need me a screwy poster. Just saying. <laughs> well, here we are. Thank you again for coming along. I do appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thank you for inviting me. It's nice to go somewhere different. Oh, what is it that you needed to get again? <laughs> this is the other reason we couldn't skip this section. We had to look at Screwy and Mary wearing her little water watering can hat. How could you forget Screwy? Next to Reginald, he's he's best character. <laughs> I love Screwy. Alright, what did he need? Um, oh, I've got a list in my pocket, actually. Hey, would you like to turn it into a game? Oh, how, uh, how do you mean? I'll split the list in half. We'll each take a half and look for the items on our own. Then we'll come back here and, uh, when we're finished. If you can get here before me, I'll reward you. Reward me? Hand hold! Hand hold! Hand hold! I need my hand held! There is a severe lack of Reggie in my hand. Give me your hand, Reggie. Gib. Gib now. Now gib. Gib. I'll get a prize? Something like that. But you'll have to beat me first. Okay. I think I can do that, maybe. Let's do it, then. I watched as Reginald ripped his, li ripped his list in two and handed me over half of it. Fair warning, though. I know this store like the back of my hand. There's no way I'd win twice in a row. <laughs> Don't promise me things that will not be delivered. <laughs> uh, hey, I might still win. My Twitch baby is born. It's an avocado. Thanks. <laughs> it's an avocado. Thanks. 
You look so precious, Keishu Octo Love, Keishu Octo Love, Keishu Octo Love. <laughs> Kimmerold, why he got his hair? Also, Allie, thank you for the nine months of tier one. Nimbly, thank you for the tier one sub as well for two months. Hi, friends. How are y'all doing? There's new people. I gotta stand up and show off the whole outfit. Excuse me while I roll away very, very far. Hello. I'm cute. <laughs> Hi, friends. I love you. All right, let's sit back down. <laughs> Yes, thank you for the shout out for Nimbly. If y'all don't follow them, they are perfect and precious and wonderful. Y'all gotta go hang out with Nimbly sometime for their lovely, lovely, very mellow streams. <laughs> I will gladly show off the whole costume pretty regularly. Also, thank you, Nimbly. It is, yes, so I'm dressed up as Mary Anta who we can see here on screen at the moment. Um, <laughs> it's perfect and wonderful. My hair has deflated a little bit. Oh God, <laughs> um, since I've been wearing headphones, but. <laughs> yes. So you're doing an ASMR stream. You were uh, making your, your like little floral Legos last night, weren't you? I meant to pop in, but I was a beat. <laughs> um, so this game is called Cemetery Mary. It's a lovely little visual novel about this, this lovely little being named Mary whose parents are currently missing. Um, I'm just trying to find out what's going on. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna date our <laughs> serial killer boyfriend, Reggie. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love listening to your streams because they definitely help me like wind down for bed though. Um, but I was, yeah, I was out of it last night. But thank you for being here. We love you. <laughs> Absolutely not a killer. Not at all. Definitely not. <laughs> he's, he's a real gentleman. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so we're just reading and hanging out. Um, dressed up, feeling cute, all the good stuff, you know? <laughs> but yes, thank you for the sub. Also, Allie, thank you for the sub as well. Y'all are too great. Y'all are too nice. <laughs> um, gotta remember the items. Also, again, I need, I need the screwy poster. I need. <laughs> After that, Reginald went on his own and left me with my share of the list. Let's see here. Antifreeze, an axe, in bolded letters. <laughs> Tape measure, rat poison. Oh fuck, what was the first one? <laughs> Antifreeze, axe, tape measure, rat poison. Antifreeze, axe, tape measure, rat poison. Well, that's not very nice. I'll... Mention that to him later. It's okay, we have cheats. Yeah, but I like to big brain it. I gotta be big brain. That's what gets me in trouble. For now, I had to get the things on the list. I did it so well the first time. After all, I now had a challenge to win. Guy eat more- Screwy says to eat more screws. Screwy wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> um, But I didn't anticipate how big the store was. It already looked big from the outside, but now that I was walking in it, it was huge. It was a weird feeling walking in here by myself, especially considering I don't really come to these places. I don't know what I was really expecting, but it was so empty. I didn't even see any workers around. That's my favorite part about a hardware store, is when there are no workers around and I can just look at all all the supplies <laughs> it's the best part art still reminds me of life my life as a teenage robot oh my god i haven't thought about that show in a hot minute that's a good show i can definitely see a similarity so we've got uh rk kitten here is the creator of uh cemetery mary um and she's done a fantastic wonderful phenomenal job with it and i love it and i love i love her art 
<laughs> but I can definitely see the resemblance to my life as a teenage robot. <laughs> People in her local love just are entirely too helpful and present. It's like, if I need you, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll tell you if I need assistance. Please just let me, let me look at the things that I can't afford. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um... <laughs> Right? Let me look at the pretty things. Uh, I kept hearing footsteps. Reginald? I called out. No response. What am I doing? This place isn't scary. I'm just gonna get the things he asked me uh, for. Right? <laughs> just need to stare at everything. I'm good. <laughs> what was on that list? Wait. Hey, where'd the list go? Did I drop it somewhere? Oh shoot. Uh, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I remember what was on it. I'll just get those things and find my way back to the front. I just have to get... Antifreeze? I picked up a gallon of antifreeze. Should I get this blue one? Or wait, maybe he wants the green one. Maybe I'll ask him later. Uh, an axe? I picked up an axe. Is this the right kind? I mean, he's using it for wood, right? So this should be good. What else would you use an axe for? Bodies! You would use them for bodies! <laughs> it's heavy. Measuring tape? I grabbed a roll of measuring tape. I always used to play with these as a kid and try to see how long it, it could stretch it. Or I could stretch it. Rat poison. Picked up a bottle of rat poison. Finish shopping. <laughs> Picked up what I thought I or thought he'd need and decided to head back towards the counter. After all, if I took too long, I would lose the race, and I gotta get me them handholds. <laughs> At least I knew my way back. At the very least, I got back to the meeting spot before Reginald did. I only had to wait for about a minute before he showed up. Oh, I see you made it back before me. Well done. Well, do you have everything? Uh, yes, here you are. Oh, you did get it all. And just the brands I like, too. Fantastic. You haven't been spying on me, have you? It's, it's rich coming from you, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Reggie, I love you. Oh, you got- Oh! Oh! See, I didn't want to be greedy, but also... But also... <laughs> After making sure Reginald had everything he needed, he and I headed to the front counter to pay for it. He got rope! <laughs> one by one, he put all his stuff onto the conveyor belt, and it slowly began to move across as the cashier began to scan it. You've got quite a bit of stuff, Reginald. I feel bad. Oh, why's that? Well, you don't have a car with you, and now you gotta carry these bags back home. Would you want me to help you? Oh, don't worry your silly little head about that. Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna worry my silly little head. Don't you worry. A little fresh air and exercise does me some good. You're not even gonna take the bus? No, I'm quite alright. Reginald, can I, uh, ask you something? Yes, of course. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong things. Oh no, oh dang. Oh dang, oh no. Oh dang, oh no. Um, is everything all right? <laughs> no. I think we asked about the rat poison last time. No, she bought an axe. Yes, I did. My job requires me to have a lot of wood. <laughs> is everything all right? Yes, I'm just gonna do a murder. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my job requires me to have a lot of wood. Uh, I know what you're worried about, though. You do? You're worried I'm gonna hurt myself, aren't you? There's nothing to worry about. I've done this kind of stuff before. I just happened to break the old one, uh, the old one last time. Oh. Alright. Hey, do you want anything? Hand! Give! Hand! Now! Give! Give me your hand! Hmm? They've got a shelf over there with some candy. I don't mind buying you a chocolate bar if you want one. 
Oh, no, that's all right. You don't have to. Are you sure? I mean, is that supposed to be my prize for winning the race? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm still thinking about your prize, or what your prize should be. But since we're here anyways, might as well, right? Give me your hand. In marriage? <gasps> what a twist! Voice acting is so engaging. I'm... <laughs> This whole stream has just been me like, I'm glad, I, tr I try, I try, it's been, <laughs> sorry, gotta stop myself from singing the Bare Naked Ladies anytime I open a sentence like that. Um, it's something I like, I like voice acting, and I, like, I think I would consider doing it at some point, it's just rough, but I just like reading, let me just read to everybody. Um, thank you, Nimbly. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. <laughs> it's been one week since I looked at you. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. That's all. That's all. I, I just needed to get it out. I just had to get it out. <laughs> um, consider it a thank you for spending time with me. Your company is more than enough, Reggie. Don't worry about it. <laughs> song, <laughs> that song and like anytime I open up with like um, making my way anywhere just like you start a sentence with making my way and i just you immediately got to you got to downtown <laughs> it's not enough to get copyright claimed <laughs> oh since you looked at me excuse me <laughs> excuse me i'm just thinking about reggie i just got reggie on the brain and it's been ages since we've looked at him and now he's here and now he's here. <laughs> you first heard it in the Digimon movie? What? I didn't realize it was there, right? It was in the Digimon movie? All right. We gotta... <laughs> now we gotta watch the Digimon movie at some point. This has to happen now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um... Soundtrack in the USA is so good. <laughs> I am adding that to my list of things to like look into because this has completely flown under the radar for me and I need to know. Um, Reggie's always on my brain until he was able to spend a year making his route and uh, get tired of drawing. I mean, I... Alright. Again, this goes back to like what I was saying earlier about like your character designs and everything. Like they're so... They're simplistic in that they like they're very aesthetically like nice they're nice to look at but i can imagine that like some of them are just a ton of fun to draw because of how cute they are i don't know i love it oh no oh no <laughs> not but it's like serious uh, yeah um <laughs> i just feel kind of not bad that's not what i'm trying to like, that's not the word I'm looking for, but it's like, I don't know, we've played other, like, indie games on the channel before, and I, I don't, I don't really hold back when it comes to, like, criticism. Um, I mean, I try to make it constructive because, like, just tearing a game down isn't gonna do anything to, like, you know, make it better. <laughs> but I have very little to complain about in regards to your stuff. It's just, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> when you ask me of whether or not I like Arcade Kittens games, I just go, mm, good. <laughs> good games. <laughs> uh, yeah, good games. Everyone should check them, check them out, please. Please, please, please. Thanks. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, realism has a has a time and a place, but I like, yeah, I, I definitely like some of the more, like, fantastical, cartoony kind of stuff. Um, I like realism, like, in regards to horror, because when you end up adding, like, you know, demon horns and yellow eyes, it makes, it makes it even spookier. But it's precious and I love it. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good art. <laughs> good games. Um, are you really sure? Of course I am. It's just a candy bar. It's not a big deal. In that case, thank you. 
Ooh, rope and a hammer. Reginald bought me a chocolate bar. It made me very happy. I made sure to thank him for it, even though he insisted it was thanks to me. After we left the store, Reginald had to head home, saying he ought to drop off his tools and stuff. He said he felt bad not being able to invite me to do more. It's because he's got a body at home he's got to clean up before he invites a pretty girl over. Can't have her seeing that. Also, yeah, spectacular eyebrows. Um... So some different streamer streams when you think about all of mary's friends have a different hue of jaundice going on oh no <laughs> have has have they all had that looked at because they should that can be a, a fairly serious condition um i told him it was completely okay he didn't need to do anything right i'd just chill i'd just chill in the corner with a candy bar and have reggie do a murder it's fine <laughs> i got candy we're cool uh i had a nice time today Time must really fly, because when I checked the time afterwards, we were already well into the afternoon. I ended up heading home a little early that day. I didn't have much else to do outside, so I went home. I read some books, made myself some dinner, and then put the leftovers in the fridge. Then I washed up, put on pajamas, and, well, do I even have to explain what I did after that? You talk to mystery person! I don't need to save just yet. Um... What did you do today? What? Well, if you're not going to talk about my parents to me, I'd at least want to hear about something that you're doing. I hung up with this really cute redhead and I bought her a candy bar. I want to. I understand. Maybe eventually. Okay. Get oh no! We did it bad! Damn it! And of course, I said I didn't need to save, but here we are. I noticed you bought an axe. That's the one that we chose. We're going to skip through a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Let us make a coffee making up. It's same. It does go fast, and I keep getting, like, <laughs> can't believe you've done this. I... <laughs> I blame Arcade because she did point out that we could use Skip more often, and I was like, okay, and now it's her it's burned me twice. I'll never touch Skip again. <laughs> oh, Reginald, hold on. Who's texting me so late at night? Mary! Are you awake? I understand if you aren't, of course. It's a bit late, isn't it? But whenever you do read this, respond. Reginald? Why are you up so late? Oh, hello. Uh, don't worry about that. I just thought of the perfect prize for you. And I had to tell you as soon as I possibly could. Really? What is it? You loved seeing my work the other day, right? Unless you were just flattering me. Oh, hello. I never sleep. I'm telling you. Reggie and I are on the same sleep schedule. Up all day. Up all night. Never sleep. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, I was thinking you could come to my workshop. Now, immediately, in the middle of the night. No problems there, right? <laughs> and I could show you how a coffin's made. At least, the way I do it. I thought it'd be a nice idea if you're into it. You're serious? I'm allowed to come see? Of course you are. I wouldn't have invited you otherwise. Then, yeah, I, I'd love to see it. Just lies in bed lovingly admiring pictures of Mary and me. <laughs> Don't we all, though? Mary is a precious being who must be protected at all costs. Um, ex except for the one. Except for the one cost, which we learned last time. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm often alone, so it'll be nice to have some company. Here, I'll send you the directions momentarily. Reginald gave me the directions to his workshop, and we made plans to meet there in a few days. Well, you know, God convinced me make a me-sized coffin, right? Right? Let's go. Let's go, Reggie. <laughs> you said you were going to make us a coffin, so, like, let's get on it. <laughs> I need this. Please and thank you. Um... <laughs> Reginald gave me the directions to his workshop, and we made plans to meet there in a few days. I always wondered what went into making a coffin, so I was plenty excited to be able to see it for myself. 
there's only so much you can read online about stuff like this. Being able to experience it firsthand would be something entirely different. Honestly, it was a bit hard to contain how giddy I was. I felt like a kid again, excited for a field trip the next day. Well, back when I still went to school with other kids and all. Anyways, I was excited. And after feeling like I'd been waiting forever, the day finally arrived. Getting off the bus at the closest stop, I walked to the location Reginald told me I should go. He told me it was a bit of a ways off the sidewalk and not too close to many buildings. It had honestly felt like I walked into a whole new city. It definitely wasn't as brick and mortar as back where I'm used to being. There were so many trees, and buildings were so spread. The grass grew in such a way that it didn't feel overgrown despite reaching a bit above your ankles. I walked down the town's cracked sidewalk until I came across a pebble path. And following it down, I caught sight of Reginald's workshop. It was so old-fashioned. It was big, but completely made of wood. It almost looked like its own little cottage way out there. But it was charming, and I liked it. I went, up, or I went up to the door and gave it a few gentle knocks. I didn't hear anything at first. But then... Reginald opened the door! <laughs> Disgruntled puffer fish. Beautiful boy. At first, he had a not-so-happy expression on his face. <laughs> the feeling when no Mary versus the feeling when Mary. <laughs> It was only for a split second, but I noticed it before it changed. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're here! Come in, come in! I'm so glad you can make it. Right? So sleepy. He's perfect, and we love him. Um, and I think we talked about this last time, too, but this paper, whatever this is on the table, definitely makes it look like he's got a tail. Her precious boy. I took a step into the workshop. It was so cozy in here. There was such gentle sunlight flowing in through the windows, and the smell of sawdust was prominent in the air. But it was a good kind of sawdust smell. It smelled like productivity and hard work. I actually just started my break, but you're free to look around and ask about things in the meantime. Are you sure? I don't want to bother you on your break. Oh, nonsense. Can't think of a better way to spend my free time. So, anything you're curious about? All of it? Everything? Um. This is a lot more woodsy than I expected. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yes. I do prefer to keep things a little more natural out here. It takes a bit longer, but it's more than worth it in the end. Better for the environment as well. These are your work clothes? Oh, yes. Do you like them? Oh, yes. They look very nice. But, uh, your hair's still a bit loose, don't you think? <laughs> yes, yes, you're not the first to say that. 30 minutes of hand-holding? 30 minutes to forever? <laughs> we hold hands and then we never let go. This is where we live now. Them's the rules, sorry, bud. Uh, but it's hard to control it all. I can't bear to cut it. No worries, though. I assure you I haven't had an accident since. And if I do, then you can just tell me you told me so. Are those new tools working for you? Extravagantly so. I think that's because I had you helping me that day. <laughs> Are you secretly a good luck charm? <laughs> I think I feel more like the opposite, if I'm honest. Oh, come now, don't say that. You haven't let me down yet. <laughs> yet! <laughs> Are you always alone here? No, oh, not always. Okay, just about always. <laughs> Unless I've brought a victim to the <laughs> to hang out. But it's alright. I don't mind it. I get to meet up with some others when they need bases and all, so I'm not always, always alone. Just don't worry about it. Besides, are any of us ever really alone? <laughs> he winked at me after saying that. Reggie, what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Uh, is that your work in the back? Indeed it is. It's just the base right now, though. Nothing too special about it yet. I think it looks pretty good, though. Especially since it's not like I know how to do any of this stuff. Well, if you'd like, you could take a step inside. 
You could be my little tester. <laughs> How romantic. Whoa, really? Sure, I mean, haven't you always wanted to know what it's like to actually lie in one? I know I have. Y yeah? I'd like to try it if that's okay. Of course it is. I wouldn't have offered otherwise. <laughs> I mean, we, we know this. We know this about Reggie. I stepped into the coffin. Even though it was still standing upwards, I crossed my arms as if I had been lying down in it. Reginald gave me a teensy wave as he lifted the lid and placed it over the coffin, encompassing me in darkness inside. How's it feel in there? It's cozy, I think. I'm sure it'll be a lot cozier once it's finished. Maybe we'll add some nice cushions and a shiny finish to really put it over the top. <laughs> yeah. I always did wonder what it feels like in those. I guess you'll have to let me try it again when it's finished. So many dots. Hello? Reginald? You're still there, right? Hello? Uh, guess I'll just let myself out then. <laughs> huh? I had pushed on the lid in front of me, but it didn't budge at all. Dots are the only good way to make time pass. I mean, I understand. <laughs> really just emphasizes the length of time. I pushed harder, but to no avail. Reginald, can you hear me? I'd like to get out now. <laughs> hey, how, how much air is in here anyway? In here anyways. I tried pushing again. No use. And no matter how much I yelled out to him, it seemed as if Reginald had just vanished. Hey, let me out, please. I punched the lid in an attempt to get out. I felt pain surge through my wrist as I did so. Her poor little mitten hands. But still I did it again. And again. And again. Help me! Please! Let me out! Let me out! Please! I can't get out! Please! Finally I was let out. Please give her a hug! I just- my poor girl. I struggled to catch my breath as I was met with the face of Reginald. Tiny little doll, it's so funny with so. I just need him to hold her hand. This is all I've asked the entire time we've played. Arcane, how dare you deny me hand holding? I need Reggie's hand in Mary's hand. Pronto! <laughs> um, who looked quite shocked to see me in such a state. Mary? What happened? Are you alright? Did- Where were you? Didn't you hear me screaming in there? No, I- Someone had knocked on the door. I figured you would be able to get out on your own, so I- You look shaken. Just a little bit. I just got so nervous when I couldn't get out. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm the sorry one. Really, I'm- I'm so sorry. Today was supposed to be nice, but I... I shouldn't have left you alone. I'm sorry. I... I'll make it up to you, okay? You... You really don't have to. It's alright. I'd feel bad. It wasn't your fault. It is my fault. Besides, I won't be able to... Or I won't feel good about it unless I do something to make it up to you, okay? <laughs> no, I don't have ears! Sorry. <laughs> No! Oh no! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> why does. Reggie, why don't you have ears? <laughs> it's just how I am. Oh. I stayed for about less than an. Uh, or I stayed for about less than an hour after that. It became pretty awkward after my little panic, and Reginald still looked like he felt really bad. I told him I'd let him work in peace told me it was okay if I wanted to leave, but he'd like to see me again soon. We said our goodbyes and I left, not wanting him to feel any worse over it. 
I didn't do much the rest of the day. I had, well, planned around this. But now I didn't feel up for doing much at all. I went back home and decided to just relax. I did share the story of me getting locked in a in a morgue one time, right? Like, on the actual, like, freezer table. I've, t I've told y'all about that, right? <laughs> um... I was sure that once I was fully calm, what happened today wouldn't have seemed that bad at all. So I spent the rest of my evening at home, until it was time for bed once again. <laughs> I was also homeschooled. I like creepy things. I've got a cemetery just down the road that I hung out a lot in during high school. Surprise! I'm Mary. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> My getting locked in a morgue wasn't on some romantic date, though. It was me being bored on, on the job and being like, y'all, it'd be funny if you put me in there. And then and then we did, and then I couldn't get out for a little bit. It was cold. It was good. It was good times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I'm friends with a puffer fish and a raven, too? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Okay, hold on. I just saved, right? I'm gonna save again. And now I'm gonna hit skip? Are you trapped? Wait, what? Are you trapped? What do you mean by that? What you're doing right now, is it because you want to? Or do you not have a choice? Oh, okay, I do. Okay, I remember that. Oh no! <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I saved. I need to stop hitting skip. I need to stop testing my luck. <laughs> but I, but I, I'm gonna keep testing my luck. I need a refresher on the terrible purple eyes within the shoujo manga, honestly. Um, I didn't talk to anyone, but that was fine too. On the third day, it was raining, so I decided I would stay home. I decided to finally take out the manga I got from the library. Hadn't started it yet, and today seemed like the perfect day, too. I lit the fireplace as I cuddled up with a blanket next to it, expecting to spend quite a while sitting there. It was a thick book, but I was sure I could finish it all in a sitting. As for its content, well, it wasn't the best manga I had ever read. But it was still really interesting, and captivated me nonetheless. The story was mostly lighthearted, and at some points even felt like a comedy, but I had just gotten to a part that was a bit more serious, making me all the more invested. Ugh. So anime. The main boy was hopelessly in love with the main girl. That was obvious enough from the start. Despite this, he didn't want to be her boyfriend. In fact, he didn't want to be in a relationship with her at all. The manga had been pretty comedic up until this point. It was mostly about the boy taking wild steps to keep the girl his friend, while also not wanting to, it to evolve into more, or even insinuate he had feelings for her. He never explains why he just or he doesn't want to date her, just that he doesn't. But now, it appears the girl had grown feelings for him in return, making things all the more complicated. And it looks like the boy was ready to confess why he felt the way he did. <laughs> Arcade, you have the power to make this manga about them. I just, I need to share that with you. You have the power to change this. You can make this difference. <laughs> um, I was completely immersed as I turned the page, only to be met with... Oh, how terrible. Someone had vandalized the pages with some sort of black paint or nail polish, it seemed. I turned to the next page just to make sure the rest of the book was alright. Sure enough, the other pages were also scribbled in black. Except for one. There was a drawing on it and what looked like some kind of writing underneath. It made me feel disappointed. I know it's not all that common for edgy teenagers to write in books and all, but still, this belonged to the library. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you've denied yourself, Reggie. This is, you've done this to yourself. You created this. You've put yourself in this reggie hell. <laughs> Sit and think about what you've done. <laughs> um, you shouldn't damage it. I tried to look on the bright side and think that maybe it was a donation to the library instead. That someone had drawn in this book when they owned it and donated it without realizing. Still, though, did no one check to see if the book was in good enough shape to be donated? Well, there was nothing I could do about it now. Also, I could see that creepy face behind that eyeball. That terrible shoujo protagonist staring at us. I made a mental note to tell the library of the damaged book when I went next. And flip back through the beginning pages to make sure I didn't miss any other marks. But when I did... Yeah, yeah, that, that, one of those phases. <laughs> huh? The page I was just on looked nothing like it did before. All the characters, it was like they were looking straight at me. I turned the page and it was the same. All eyes were on me. Completely startled, I'd thrown the book away from me. But I didn't see where I was throwing. Ah, dang. <laughs> In my panic, I'd thrown the book right into the fire. I mean, that is where haunted books belong. Um, except not because now you're releasing the terrible thing and you're gonna get that nasty case of the purples. Ah, heck. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to save it, but it was too late. Putting the fire out wouldn't have saved it. It was already pitch black and burning to ash. I smacked myself in the head. I was always so careful with the library books, and now I just let one get completely destroyed. Stupid, stupid. Ugh. Even though the book was beyond rescue, I still had to clean the fireplace now. I sighed and gathered the proper tools to clean it. Kneeling in front of the fireplace, I heard my phone go off. I picked it up shortly after, worried that it might have been Crovin needing something important. But it was Reginald, once again. Hello, Mary. How are you feeling today? Me? I'm okay, I guess. Are you sure? I still feel terrible about- terrible about what happened the other day. What do you mean? When you got stuck, remember? No, I tried to forget it. <laughs> it's true. The real horror is the lack of Reggie. We need more Reginald. Always need more Reginald. Uh, when you got stuck, remember? Or, well, perhaps it's better if you don't remember. <laughs> well, anyways, I've still been feeling pretty awful about that. I was thinking of ways I could make it up to you somehow. And luckily an opportunity has recently presented itself. Oh, and you don't have anything to do? Or you don't have to do anything? What? Oh, you don't have to do anything. It helps to actually read the sentence. Um, really, it's alright. Please, I think you'll really like it. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. In fact, I'd say it was meant to be. It's so perfect for you, after all. You see, I was recently invited to a funeral. And who better to invite me than you? Invite- oh my god, words. And who better to invite with me than you? Getting to that point where reading is harder than normal. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Are you feeling alright? Oh, yes, yes, no need to worry. It was no one close, just someone I used to know a long, long time ago. Hadn't seen him in ages, so it surprised even me that I was invited. But since I was, I thought you would like to come? You do like these events, right? Well, I guess I can't deny that I do. <laughs> but are you really sure it's okay for me to come? Of course. I think if anyone can put the fun in funeral, it's you. God damn it, Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> the purples are setting in oh no it makes it it makes life rough the dang purples oh shucks 
Reginald forward me forwarded me the details of the funeral and told me where I'd be meeting him. Despite our area's pretty cemetery, this funeral was going to be, enti uh, be entirely in a church. I had never been to a funeral in a church before. Each one I've attended has been outside, and it's a lot easier to walk into one, of the one that's held outdoors. <laughs> but now I was invited, and I couldn't deny I did feel a little excited. Is that bad? I've never really gone to churches, but they've always seemed so pretty from the outside. I just never had a reason to go. But now I do. I kept in touch with Reginald until that day, always double-checking the details such as the time and location. I didn't want to be late or hold anything up or cause any disruption. Reginald kept assuring me that it would be alright, though, and that he'd wait for me outside so I wouldn't get too lost either. On the day of the funeral, I wore my usual attire. It's one of the great things about dressing like this. I'm always funeral ready. <laughs> I mean, that's not the only reason I dress like this. I just like the color black a lot. But I think red's still my favorite color. Probably. When I turned down the street the church was on, I spotted Reginald standing on the front steps. He spotted me in return and gave me a polite wave as he waited for me to reach him. Our boy! Why don't you look nice? Oh, no! I didn't actually mean to hit that! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Maybe we'll just history it up. Ah, oh, dang. We didn't skip too terribly much. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm annoyed with myself. It's fine. Um... Why don't you- why don't you look nice? Really? I'm just wearing what I always do. Yes, I know, but it's a nice look for you. Oh, right, right. Here, take this. Reginald handed me a small package of tissues. I know you're not one to cry at these events, but just in case. Oh, thank you. He knew- he knew the purples were setting in. Uh, that's very considerate of you. Do you think you'll need them too? Oh, no, no. I'm not much of a crier, I'm afraid. Besides, I think it's hard to be sad with you around. Reginald opened the door for me and I stepped inside. I had always admired this building from the outside, but had never been inside before. The ceiling towered above us. The walls were clean and dark, and the tiled floors below us gave a pleasant sound when stepped on. He gestured to the direction we'd be heading in for the service. There was a lot of people. That made me happy. We all herded into the room, everyone looking for a proper pew to sit in, with a nice view of the priest. Reginald Tetra, proprietor of the Purples. <laughs> Always prepared for any sort of a situation. What a good boy. Uh, I sat uh, down in- I sat down closest open spot to me. In the closest open spot to me. And almost immediately, I felt an overwhelming sense of dread. I'm not sure what caused it- or why it was happening, but it was as if the world was ending, somehow. I don't know. I just couldn't place this overwhelming sense of doom that I was feeling. I looked around. It seemed like no one else was experiencing it. But it was so prominent to me. Almost tangible. Like a heavy weight that was uh, sinking into my shoulders. Or loud music that reverberated through your bones. The ceilings were so high, and I had plenty of room to sit, yet I felt so terribly claustrophobic. I could not even or couldn't even hear what the priest was saying. Or rather, I could hear it, but I felt like as if I could not listen properly, as if they were speaking underwater. What was this feeling? It was making me feel sick. I felt the temples of my head start to throb the more time went on. Each muffled noise that coursed its way across the room somehow gave me a sense of nausea, as if just the vibrations of sound were causing me to feel dizzy. Something wasn't right. That's all I could think to myself. I felt almost paralyzed in my seat as the bad feelings continued so on and so forth. It was hard to describe exactly how it felt. Was this a stroke? A heart attack? Do you smell toast? <laughs> Can you smell toast? That's... Number one sign you're having a stroke. That's not true. It's not. That's not true. Um. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Um, <laughs> sorry. A heart attack? I couldn't pinpoint this feeling. I just knew that something wasn't right. I wasn't even sure how to handle these feelings. It was as if I had entered some kind of dreamlike state. As if what I was feeling and everything around me was all sort of an elaborate dream. That is how I feel when I go into churches too, though, Mary. So don't worry about it. It's okay. It was scary and claustrophobic. I felt like I had tunnel vision and the world around me was becoming blurred. All the noises around me felt so muffled and yet also so loud. It made my ears ring. And all the while, the only message my brain was feeding me was that something wasn't right. I... I didn't want to be disrespectful to the service or anything, but I had to leave. At least, just leave the room. How long had this gone on anyways? It felt like I had been- or it had been hours, but that couldn't have been the case. I think I was just feeling really sick and that's why. I... I eventually worked up the strength to exit the room. Things didn't seem quite so closed in when I did, but I still felt tidal waves of nausea rush over me every few moments. I couldn't understand what was causing this to happen. I felt terrified. In my dizzied state, I stumbled up about until I found a bathroom. I went inside. The lights were bright and fluorescent in contrast to the rest of the church. The buzzing noise and stark whiteness of the room did not help my condition at all, as if overloading my senses even more. Luckily, I was already in front of a toilet when my sickness got the better of me. I threw up. And something... something definitely wasn't right. Hi, Devo. Whatever I had puked into the toilet was unlike anything I had ever seen before. Ink the first symptom of the purples. Oh no! <laughs> it was pure black. And it glistened oddly in the light. Like ink or tar. I think I've said this before, but you get enough blood in your stomach. If you vomit it up, it will look black and viscous and awful. First symptom of holy water poisoning, leave church immediately. Also, facts. <laughs> Get out, Mary. You're allergic. You're allergic to the church. You gotta go. Did this really come out of me just now? Or am I just seeing things? This feeling of nausea still hasn't left. A knock on the door. I wasn't given much time to inspect it further. But truthfully, I didn't know if I wanted to. I had to be just seeing things, right? I told whoever was outside that I would be just a minute. I flushed the toilet and wiped the seat with toilet paper. All that murky, inky, black water came up clear again after I flushed it. Oh, I'm starting to get all sniffly. Oh no. I washed my hands and cleaned myself up in the sink before heading back out there again. As I exited the bathroom, I was greeted by a lady and gentleman standing right in front of me. Didn't we agree that this was Jesse and James <laughs> last time? <laughs> Surprise, it's Team Rocket. Um, oh, goodness, you startled me. Also, it's been a minute since we saved, so I'm gonna save. <laughs> On the off chance I accidentally hit skip again. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, and I apologize for the wait. Please, go ahead. Oh, that's quite all right. Just wanted to fix my makeup before we head out for dinner. Will you be joining us too? It'll definitely 100% happen. We all know it. <laughs> uh, huh? We saw you in the service there with us. Everyone was invited to come join us for dinner after. Sorry if we're appearing rude, but who are you anyways? You're not some kind of crasher, right? Uh... What do you mean? How are you related to the deceased? Who did you come here with? Oh, that, that's, uh, just because I'm actually just... I mean, yeah, obviously I'm Reginald's girlfriend. <laughs> he locked me in a, a coffin once. That makes it official. I didn't want to cause any trouble leaving the service in the middle of it. I just wasn't feeling all that great, so I took off on my own. I, uh... I don't know where he is right now, but I'll see him again soon, I'm sure. Oh, 
I see. You must be very wound up about all this, then. Sorry to bother you. I'm still holding to this theory that who whoever died is the is the real Reginald, and that our Reginald, our sweet, sweet boy Reginald, isn't actually Reginald. Anyway, sorry to bother you. Oh, no, don't be sorry. It's okay. I noticed them give me a weird look as we went our separate ways. As I got closer to the main hall, I could see more and more people spilling out the ends. It seems like the service was just about over, but... I couldn't just leave. There was something weird, really weird going on here. Um... And I knew it was connected to that coffin. The closer I got to it, the more intense the nauseating pressure felt. It felt like walls closing in on my brain. And with what happened in the bathroom earlier, I I couldn't just let it go. I snuck closer to the coffin. We were alone together, and the pressure felt more intense than ever. Honestly, I felt like I could puke again just from standing there. It just felt so hard to focus on anything except the pressure of it all. Something was telling me what's inside. I don't know if it's a body. I can hardly think properly. Welcome back, Emmy. But all my brain could tell me was that something else was in there. No one else is around, right? Maybe if I could just see inside, all, all I need is one quick, quick glance. And then maybe my mind will be at ease. I reach my arm towards the coffin and... Ah, there you are! Re Reginald! Did you get lost? I noticed you ran off earlier. Is everything alright? Oh, I, um... Actually, I'm not alright. Oh? What's wrong? I... I don't know. I just... I started feeling really sick today. I'm all... woozy and dizzy? And my head feels like it's throbbing. I don't know why. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Would you like me to drive you home? Oh, uh, that... No. No, it's okay. Are you sure? How are you going to get home, then? No, no, it's fine. I'll be fine. Absolutely. Because you don't sound all that okay. <laughs> right? Take me home and never let me leave. <laughs> uh, I think... I think I just need to lay down somewhere. Well... Actually, I, I'm i sorry to intrude, but do you, do you think I could lie down at your place for a little while? I think I'll be okay to go home after I just rest a little somewhere. Yes, yes, of course. Here, let's get you out of here. Take me home. <laughs> Reginald and I quickly and quietly exited the church together. I mean, it's true. It is true. You gotta simp for Reggie. I don't know. I felt like I simped pretty hard last time, but was also just not... I didn't want to impose. But now I know. Now I know. And it's like, nah, you, you want me to come over. So let me come over. <laughs> Reginald and I quickly and quietly exited the church together. Even though we were getting further from the coffin, the immense pressure I felt from standing next to it didn't seem to fade away. Ah, so close, but so far. <laughs> um, I might go back and like, uh, look over my my answers or like compare what I what I've done differently. Again, this is assuming I'm getting the good ending. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. I'm simping. I'm here from a boy. Uh. In fact, it almost felt seemed to be getting worse. The purples are setting in hardcore, Mary. Get out of there. Regardless of my distance from it, it felt bad 
I'm a little weird about going to Reginald's place like this. But it seemed like it was my only choice. But it... It was fine. I had my phone on me too if I needed it. In case of an emergency. I just... I really needed to lie down somewhere. Not necessarily sleep, but... Just lie down. I crawled into Reginald's car with him. It smelled like one of those old pine air fresheners. But there wasn't any hanging from his rearview mirror. It's all that it's all that wood. It's all that wood he's got a cart back and forth. Um <laughs> It's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um Don't worry, Mary. We'll be there soon. It's all that wood. <laughs> Because he's a coffin maker. Y'all nasty. <laughs> I just want to hold Reggie's hand. Let me hold your hand. Um, and don't be afraid to ask for anything on the way either. You, you really are starting to look sick. A touch purple mayhaps? <laughs> I didn't know what he meant by that. But I didn't really have the energy to ask about it. The world around me felt like it was spinning. I hoped I wouldn't throw up again in Reginald's car. And I really hoped I wouldn't need to go to the hospital or anything like that. <laughs> I probably should have paid more attention on the drive to Reginald's apartment, but in the state I was in, it was very hard to. Nothing really looked quite as it should. Everything we passed just seemed to melt together into shapes. My head was killing me. I don't remember how long we even drove for. I just remember Reginald parking his car and helping me out the other side. He let me lean against his shoulder as he brought me through the front door. The elevator is broken, so we're gonna have to take the stairs. I hope that's alright. That... that's fine. It won't be that long, okay? Just a little further. Reginald brought me to the stairs and helped me up them one by one. Somehow it felt like the most difficult task in the world. Like, I couldn't even focus move on moving my own two feet. I didn't understand anything that was happening. I really... I really just needed to lie down. <laughs> I need this puffer fish to pick me up immediately. Pick Mary up. Carry her up those stairs. Do it. I'm sure... I'm sure he can. I'm sure he can do it. Please, sir. <laughs> As we ascended the stairs, I heard someone else coming down from an upper floor. I didn't think much of it until they stopped us on one of the landings. Um. Oh, so angry. <laughs> and his little, his little cowlick. Reginald. There you are. I'm sorry, you'll need to get out of the way. Please, it'll- can't you see I'm busy right now? Come on, you can't tell me you don't notice it too. And when I try to mi talk to Miss Sherwood about it, she doesn't answer me. Have you heard anything from her? I knew she was Elme. I told you I am busy. Kindly move out of the way. Now. Hi, Devo. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, buddy. I felt us shove past the poor lady. I felt bad for her, but I also felt as though I could barely walk anymore. I really, really hoped I wouldn't throw up again. And then at some point, we were no longer on the staircase. I heard Reginald take out his keys and unlock his door. Well, here we are. I know it's not much, but I hope it'll do- Oh, excuse me, hiccups. Oh, but you're unwell. I shouldn't ramble. Here, why don't you lie down on the couch? Watch some TV. I'll start some tea. Maybe it'll help you feel a bit better. Oh, okay. Thank you. I almost collapsed, on, collapsed onto his couch the second I was close to it. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just needed to relax. I tried to listen to what he told me. Watch TV. Maybe if I could just distract myself like that? Oh, our baby. <laughs> I reached over his coffee table and turned the TV on. I fumbled uh, for the channel buttons, trying to put on something calm. Maybe a cooking show or a house show or something like that. 
Then I stumbled upon a channel I hadn't seen before. It's got the eyeball! Can y'all see the eyeball? Kinda. <laughs> Screen went all static. At first I thought the TV lost, uh, just lost connection. But even when I fiddled with the remote, nothing changed. When I hit the power button, it didn't turn off. This is the Pufferfish channel. <laughs> they have that? Even though it was static, I could still hear something. But I felt too dizzy. It was hard to listen. There were words. It was almost like... I could tell it was talking to me. Like it was trying to tell me something. But even trying my hardest, I just couldn't focus on it. As if I was in some sort of bizarre dream. Surprise, the purples aren't actually like a bad thing. They've It's just been trying to warn us about Reggie the whole time. Which I guess you could argue is still a bad thing because I know what I've signed up for. <laughs> it was all hazy, swirling around and around in my head. I just needed to lie. Oh? <laughs> Wake up! Good morning, sleepyhead. Or, well, evening, rather. Reginald? What happened? You fell asleep. What else? You must have been feeling awfully sick. Are you feeling any better? Oh, uh... Yes, actually. I think so. I was feeling a little better. My head still hurt, but I wasn't anywhere near as dizzy as I was before. I'm glad your, nap er, I'm glad your nap helped you then. Unfortunately, I had to dump your tea. Got a bit too cold. But I have no problem making you another cup if you'd like. Oh, that's alright. Hey, wait... The TV? Did you hear it earlier? Hmm? Hear what? The TV. It was making a bunch of strange noises. How do you mean? The TV was off when I came over to sit with you. <laughs> Instead of a call, uh, tall, uh, tall glass of water. Just a piping hot cup of tea. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... Oh, I must have just been dreaming then. Sorry for falling asleep on your couch. I didn't mean to. Why are you apologizing? You were feeling sick. It's quite all right. I'm sure you would let uh, let me do the same if our situations were reversed. Wait, you said good evening earlier. What time is it? I checked the time. Oh, goodness. It was getting late. Was I really asleep that long? I stood up from Reginald's couch and told him I really ought to get going. I thanked him once again for helping me so much. Of course. Hopefully we can see each other again soon. Maybe at a time when you aren't feeling so sick. I made my way quickly and carefully down the stairs, hoping to catch the next bus on time. I noticed the closer I got to the bottom, the more it started to smell. It was less than pleasant. I guess that's what that neighbor lady wanted to ask Reginald about. Reginald got pretty mad at her, didn't he? I tried not to let it affect my opinion of him too much. After all, it sounded like he was just really worried about me. <laughs> Good morning! If I looked as sick as I felt, then, well, I'd be worried too. Dots. Luckily, I caught the bus on time. Got on safe, walked home safe, made it home safe. And then, you know... Followed my usual routine after that. It's been a minute since we saved. Boop. I'd like to go, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Okay. No, stop skipping. I'm scared you'll stop responding. Okay, still not feeling fantastic. Hopefully if I waited a while, it would just pass on its own. That's how it usually works anyways. We're good, right? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to, like, manage that skip a little better. 
Um, that's how it usually works anyways. So, here I'll sit. I just hope I'll have the energy in me to get up later. Because sitting here, I'm not feeling too hot despite being next to a fire. <laughs> I heard familiar footsteps slump down the stairs and turn into, his, into this room. Psst. Mars? You awake? Yeah, I'm up. <laughs> You're always so mean to Krovin! <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure. I'm gonna head out for a little, alright? What? You will impede our progress. It's true. It's absolutely true. Um, It's just for a little, okay? I'll be back before you know it. Krovin, please don't leave. I, I'm i sick. I know, Mary. I know. But this is important, right? But what if I need something? What if I pass out again? Come on, Mars. You're not that bad. You didn't see me! You didn't see Mary yesterday! She was purple! Besides, it's not like I could really do much for, uh, for you. I... You know I don't like to be left alone when I'm sick. I know, but like I said, this is important. It's more important than me? Mars. Do you really need me to stay that badly? I assume- <laughs> My headcanon is that Krovin's going going back out on a date with Vasilis, and I'm not one to tell him not to, because Vasilis is perfect. I'll be okay. <laughs> Are you sure? No, yeah, it's okay. You said it was important, right? So- you can go. I'm not that bad. Alright. Thanks, Mars. I'll make it up to you later, promise? The fuck you will. Krovin left out the door shortly after that. And then I was alone again. It's okay, we got Reggie. Pulled out my phone to give me something to do. The light felt so bright. Like it was stinging me. Even when I turned it to the lowest brightness, it still hurts. The words and images on it looked almost blurry. Have you considered glasses, Mary? I think... I think you could pull them off. Now we can listen to our boyfriend on speakerphone in private. Ah, <laughs> uh, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for it. It was hard to focus on it. I went into my contacts and hit the call button. I didn't know if he would even answer, but it was worth a shot, right? Hello? Hi. Mary. Are you feeling alright? You still sound quite sick. Yeah, I'm okay. Well, actually I'm not. Um, I'm still pretty sick. But it's not as bad as before. That's good then. I, I hope this is alright to say, but... You sound upset. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little lonely, I guess. I don't know. I'm sorry I just called you out of the blue like this. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry if I bothered you or something. Don't say that. You're not a bother. Thanks. Sorry, I don't know. I, I guess it's just because I'm so sick. I don't know what to do with myself. My cousin was just here, but he left. So I'm just feeling... I don't know. I didn't want to be alone. I'm sorry. That sounds really silly when I say it out loud. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> I can't express how much I shipped them. Um... So much. I shipped them so much. Oh my god. I'm really sorry someone would just up and leave you like that. Oh, no, it's not like that. I'm okay. It's really not that big of a deal. Really? I mean, I don't know. I say I don't know a lot, don't I? But I just wanted to talk, I guess. I completely understand. Tell me about whatever you'd like. I don't mind. You're not busy or anything? Nope. I was just reading. What are you reading? 
Oh, just some silly mystery novel. I'm a little over halfway through. Could you read it out loud, if that's all right? <laughs> Why? I just think it'd be nice. I don't know. Like, I won't feel like I interrupted you calling? Or interrupted you by calling? Besides, uh, you have a nice voice too, you know? I could picture you making audiobooks or something. <laughs> poor Twyla. Poor, poor Twyla. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's the first time I've heard that. Is this my debut? Maybe. Are you sure you want me to read to you, though? You might get spoilers if you ever want to read it yourself. Oh, I gotta sit up. I am sinking into my chair. And you don't have context for any of the events. I think it'll be nice. It might help distract me from being sick, too. I mean, unless, of course, you don't want to or anything. Oh, please. I'd love to. Now, where was I? Oh, uh, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> but things still didn't add up. If he truly was dead at five, then how could he have been there at six? Who were they trying to fool? Oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Again, like I've said before, I, I really enjoy reading out loud. Um, and it's something that I, like, I really enjoy. So I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I rested my eyes as Reginald read his book to me. I liked listening to it, even if I didn't remember a lot of it. It was nice. Fully voice acted release in the future featuring just Cache. All Cache. All the time. Every character. It's all me. No. <laughs> only. There is only a Cache. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, God. But hey, if anyone ever needs a voice actor, <laughs> hit your girl up, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> um, it was nice and lasted for a while, too. But eventually, Reginald said there was another call coming in and told me he had to take it. So I let him go after that. It might as well have happened. It was just about dinner time. Crobin still wasn't home, though. I wasn't sure if I should prepare anything for him. I decided not to. I was sick, after all. I didn't want to get him sick, too. Great! <laughs> Voice credits. Mary Cage. Reggie Cage. Crobin Cage. <laughs> Mystery number Cage. <laughs> all Cage, all the time. Dear God. That's, that's too much of me. That's too much. Um... <laughs> no, that's super precious though, and I super appreciate it. Um, so I mustered the strength to make dinner for myself. Before I knew it, the sun started to set outside. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, and so, oh, whoops. And so I trudged my way upstairs, getting ready for bed. And I skipped a whole nother line again. Oh well. But of course, it couldn't just be that simple. Even in my sick state, I still had to talk to, well, you know. Time to save again, cause I'm gonna try to skip this conversation. Sure, I will, I guess. Oh, we didn't do this one last time, okay. Uh, good night, Mary. I mean, it was extremely short, but hey, that's fine. It's been a few days. I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm glad I didn't catch anything too serious. <laughs> we'll, we'll skip through quickly. There was a coffin. There was something about it. I had to know more. Although it's too late for me to get to it now. Oh, this is when we talk to the priest, isn't it? Ugh, barf. Oh, and I can't skip. Even if I couldn't get to that coffin again, there was still a place I could go. Like, straight up, it's not skipping. I found myself back at that church. I felt uneasy walking in, but I didn't feel sick anymore. The atmosphere in here was no longer heavy. 
at least not as heavy as it had been before. I still felt some sense of pressure, but it was nowhere near as bad as it had been. It didn't feel great to walk into a church and immediately feel like something was wrong. No, I mean, it's fine. It's fine, Mary. That is the proper response to most organized religions. We'll save that, though, for another day. Um, there had to be someone I could talk to in there. Or you could just leave. We could just- have you considered just going? <laughs> I walked through the halls. There were no services today, so there was nobody, really. I wandered about the long halls with their tall walls. Something about walking through a building like this, deafeningly silent, and feeling a sense of pressure. Well, it just didn't feel quite right. I believe religion has yellow hair, or ye yellow eyes and caramel hair. It's in incidentally a bitch. <sighs> Our true savior. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the stream where we're full of blasphemy. <laughs> it's good times, don't worry about it. Well, it just didn't feel quite right. Eventually, though, I made it to a room with someone in it. A priest standing at the far end. Getting closer, I recognized them as being the same from the funeral service. Maybe they could help me then. I lightly coughed as I approached closer to alert them of my presence. They looked up to speak to me. Ah, oh, may I help you? Oh, uh, yes, actually. I just, uh... It's hard to explain, but, uh... I don't know. I just need some help. Help is here for... You. <laughs> Get out of here. What do you need help with? I... Well... I was here for a funeral service not long ago. Um... Hold on. I had to sneeze and then it vanished, but it's like still in my nose. Oof, <sighs> this part tries to nudge you towards it. <laughs> Uh, which, which, uh, which answer are we looking at? Um, and when I was here, I started feeling not that great. Help is here for you. <laughs> Even now, I don't feel like I think I should. And, well, my life in general hasn't been taking the best of turns lately. I don't know, it seems pretty great. You got Reginald involved, so like, you're good. <laughs> oh no, I dropped my contact. <laughs> we think I wear glasses a week. <laughs> hasn't been taking the best of turns lately. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sure this is really stupid, but I guess I'm wondering There's a lot of emphasis going on for me right now, Arcade, so I'm going to save here for a hot second. I don't remember what I said last time. Was it if everything or if everything happens for a reason? I mean, someone upstairs is always mad at us, right? Oh fuck, hold on. Wait a second. I was I was joking earlier when I said that maybe the purples aren't aren't actually the baddie. <laughs> Are they trying to contact me? Would you be able to know? No, no, it's quite all right. It's upstairs where our phone stalker lives. <laughs> no, 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 no. Our phone stalker said they weren't mad at us, so it's definitely not them. <laughs> It's quite all right. Even if you feel confused now, I'm sure the light of your situation will read you soon. Stop talking in riddles, sir. I need a clear cut answer right now. Yeah, Devo, you tell him. <laughs> God loves all their children very much. And that includes you. Okay, but like, I'm here for a non-binary God. Just saying. Never heard to get reassured from our phone stalker. <laughs> True. Wait.
Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. This church motherfucker isn't, isn't mystery person, is it? I've like, I've been so set on mystery person being Reggie. God would certainly be above gender, I think. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, so there's no reason to worry. Unless, of course... You've done something wrong. Ugh. Ugh. Get out of here with your guilt trip bullshit. What? No, of course not. I... I know who mystery phone person is. The results may shock you. Clickbait! That is clickbait if ever I saw some. <laughs> mystery person is 100% arcade. Confirmed. <laughs> It's it's been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> Hi Detrell. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> I think I said it on your Insta the other day, but you a cutie. <laughs> um I mean, I don't think I've done anything wrong. Are you sure? The only one who's done anything wrong is Reginald, and that's because he hasn't held my damn hand! Perhaps you should think, or should look over your actions. Sometimes it's easy for us to overlook all we have done wrong. Perhaps that is why God may be treating you in such a way. What happened to God loves all, all their, all their people? <laughs> oh, you got the trail art on your mantle? Oh, hell yeah. That's dope as fuck. <laughs> I know Detrell's not technically in chat, but like, I need I need to get some links for their stuff because they also got good art. Let me just hype up all my friends. Detrell's got good art, y'all. <laughs> dope, dope, dope. Uh, to remind you, of what needs to be done. I... I see. Maybe there is something I can do better. We can always do better. Get out of here. Ah, but do not fret. As I have said, God loves all their children. And also goodbye. Goodbye, Detrell. <laughs> and that includes you. Sometimes love may be tough. But the point will get across in the end. Yes, you are correct. Um. Hell yeah! Share the Society6. Uh, either here or in the Discord. Probably in the Discord. That's more accessible. It will stay there. Oh, they got a new web store? Post that shit in the Discord, Jody! Share! Gib! I need to support all my friends. <laughs> uh, is there anything more you'd like to ask about? Uh, God loves all their children, but I am cold and unforgiving God, and deem that Mary must face the purple. What a terrible world we exist in, where Mary must have the purples. Overthrow it. Throw it out. It's, it's, it's bad. It broke. Throw it all out. Protect Mary. That's just that's just how it goes. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Uh, I want to ask about. I think I skipped these last time. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, we good. I don't have any more questions, Priest, except where is my Reggie? Right? For real. Yeah, I think I dipped after that first set of questions. Is that fine? Does that ruin things? Does it ruin it if I just leave? Because I don't want to fucking talk to this person anymore. <laughs> They're the worst. Um, like, quite literally, the worst. Questions or optionals. Fantastic. 
Miss Or only has one print, so I don't know if it's official. Okay, we'll post both. Post the new one and the Society Six stuff. <laughs> Questions. What the fuck is a West Yuan? <laughs> West Yuan! I have no idea, but it sounds cool. Uh, thank you for your assistance. Of course. Get the fuck out of here. Please, do not feel scared. You coming in here, uh, here in itself proves to me that you do not wish to be a bad person. I'm sure God has a plan for you. Ugh. Ugh. Do not stress about the outcome. It is in their hands now. I see. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just leave, Mary. You've got better things to do with your life. I exited the church shortly after. I wasn't quite sure how to feel. I didn't quite feel like I got the answers I was looking for. The pressure began to lift on my shoulders once again, once I was out the doors. But I still just couldn't shake the feeling of there being something more to all this. West Yuan, a breed of cowboy dinosaur. Absolutely, it's canon now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is it? That's a good one. Um, I know I don't have the the dictionary redeem anymore, but I will add that. I will add that to our dictionary because it's good. Um, but I still couldn't quite shake the feeling of there being something more to all of this. Something I was missing. I will re-add the dictionary redeem also. I know I said that I was going to do that last time and then I forgot because things happened, but I will write this down. And I spelled that wrong, but oh well. Hopefully I can decipher that later. Uh, I decided to head to the library. Maybe I could look at some books. Not necessarily about religion, but maybe stuff about omens or signs? Because if there really was a sign, I didn't want to miss it. Dope, you're fantastic. Hell yeah. Thank you, Jody. Um, so I made my way to the library as briskly as I could, and started taking out book after book to see what might help me with all this. I was sure that I'd be able to at least find something. Even something small is better than nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> the rotated books. Also, Mary's face is adorable, and I love it. I love it so much. Um, I picked up a few books and sat myself down in a corner to read them. I must say, though, I couldn't really understand most of it. I tried very hard, too. Thanks. <laughs> My face is pretty all right. I'm a fan of it most days. Uh, but lots of it just didn't make sense to me. Still, though, I don't want to leave without finding something out. Surely one of these books had to help me. Uh, look! And I think we've read all these. We only need wishes, like my wish for Reggie to be back on the screen. <laughs> what does it mean when someone says, or, I've, I've read this though, why are we not skipping? Whatever, we'll just click through. It's fine, we'll just click through. I, I remember most of these, for the most part. What is a wish? <laughs> what is a wish? Her face changed. Ah! The wish is burned! At the very least, it has the closest chance. Next time you must wish, try burning it. The results may not be what you imagine, but they are almost all, or surely, to come true. Burned wish? The manga that had that weird writing in it. All this started happening after I burned that book. Maybe whoever left that there left stuff in the other books. I remember color palettes with your rotation. We all do. <laughs> hey, work smarter, not harder. That's what that's what I always say. I'm telling you, you should see uh, my creative process with the fucking terrible thumbnails I make for YouTube. Um it's very straightforward and stuff, and that's not even good art. <laughs> Put the book down and rushed quietly to the manga shelf. A burned wish comes true. I wonder, was it someone's wish that I burned? 
It's <laughs> again, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> or maybe I set off a curse in its place. If I burned it, would that wish count for me too? I don't, maybe, I don't know. Cause there were like, obviously like some sections we'll skip, but like, I know we went through each one of those, each one of the books the last time. And I haven't messed around with the, I don't think I've messed around with the game since we played it last. Maybe it just hates me. I'd believe that. But hey, that's a thing. <laughs> maybe, it might be a thing. I don't know if anyone else has it's, I don't want to say it's a problem, but, uh, hey. <laughs> uh, did that w wish count for me, too? I just want Reggie back. I eventually made it to the shelf I was looking for. Mostly all the set was here. Maybe whoever wrote in that book wrote more in the rest? I took out a book and hurriedly skimmed through the pages. I didn't even care about the spoilers I might get do by doing so. When that book had nothing in it, I tried another and then another... And then, one of the books fell off the shelf. It surprised me just a bit, and sounded especially loud in the quiet library. As I went to squat down and pick it up... Ah, oh, dang! I noticed it had opened by itself. <laughs> Again, just reminds me of some of my biology notes about, like, tertiary and quartiary... DNA replication. I know that's not how you say it, and I don't even think that's a word, but you know. <laughs> it's been 84 years! I noticed it open by itself. On the page was a cemetery, of all things. But even stranger, there was a slip of paper that found its way into the book as well. Was this left by the same person who left such a mess in the other books? Also, some people just doodle on their bookmarks. Don't, don't look into it. <laughs> Picked it up and began to read the note that was left. Um. Wouldn't want to skip the scenes I've seen for the first time. It would let me skip scenes that I've already been in. Yeah, like, I mean, like, and we had that a couple of times already where it's like, it would let me skip some of the scenes that I've already done. Um, and then a couple of the ones, like, when I chose different options, uh, it wouldn't let me skip through those. But it's, like, w like with those books in particular, it's, like, I know I clicked on all of those because I read all all four of them. Um, and I want to say there was, like, one other section where it's, like, I know I did this. Yeah, like, entering the church. Um, like, we, we did that before. And it wouldn't let me skip, but oh well. It's fine. Um, what's on the, what's on the note? People are never gone forever. I promise you, the statement is true. There's no such thing as a departed soul. Not anymore. I will not regret this decision. But I must live knowing the truth of it. Not because no one will listen, but because it will leave me lonely for a long, long time. That's okay. It doesn't really feel lonely, even when it does. In fact, it's kind of fun. I wonder how much I will be able to see before it's over. That is, if you ever intended for this to have an ending to begin with. It makes me wonder how many variations I will see. Say, if you're reading this, and I know you are, why don't you tell me? I'd love to hear your side. <laughs> People are never gone unless you're Reggie. <laughs> I'm just gonna go as slow as possible now, so that Reggie never shows back up. That's a lie, because I want to see Reggie again as well. The note ended there. I'm not entirely sure what it means. I couldn't really understand any of it. I'm sure I'm missing a whole story behind it, but whoever wrote it, I hope you know that uh, I'm listening, and I hope you won't be lonely for long, because nobody should ever, ever have to be lonely. I left the library after that. It it couldn't be a coincidence that the manga just happened to open to a page with a cemetery on it. So I decided I would check there for anything new or suspicious. Any kind of sign. 
I spent a while there. Hold on, I'm gonna save real quick. Decent Reggie's last appearance. Yeah, it's not letting me skip this either. A letter that changed or a color that shifted anything. And then I happened upon it. In the way, way, way back of the cemetery, right before the iron fence, where the cemetery ends and the forest begins, there was a new grave here. A grave I had never seen before. And I would know, because I've seen them all. It had a, or it had strange writing on it, unlike any language I'd ever seen before. Was it a code? But why would someone have coded on or have coding on their grave? There was something weird about it. And the closer I got to it to inspect it, I began to feel nauseous. Um It it could just be a me issue, honestly. Um if you want, once I'm like once we're through this ending off stream I can go through and see if I can skip these sections again um after playing through to let you know if it's a if it is a me issue <laughs> um <laughs> I bet you didn't expect this to be a bug test <laughs> it was just like at the church at the funeral it made me feel dizzy just a little bit um I'm gonna skip a little bit it won't let me proper skip, so I'll just kind of skim through. <laughs> this is also what I do. I just break things, so it's fine. It would probably do me good to get some rest. My head was spinning with so many strange concepts, after all. I followed my usual routine, the one I always follow when I get home. And, well, you already know what comes next. I know I usually try to ask you things, but I had a long day, so I'll probably just go to bed soon. Um. <laughs> for that, for that singular typo, I remember seeing your post about that. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Like I said, after after I'm done going through this, I can try and go through again and just see if it lets me skip. Um, and if it does, then obviously it's a me issue. And if not, then we can dig into that a little bit more. It's probably, it's probably me. <laughs> Let's just be clear about that now. It's probably me. Also, I forgot I had Haunted Baby Jesus next to me and it kind of spooked me for a second. This, this motherfucker <laughs> just hanging out over here. Forgot it was there. That was terrifying. Um, <laughs> Babu. See, like, I have, I'll, like, I keep my skinned doll in the bedroom, and it watches over me as I sleep. That's not a big deal. Um, Haunted Jesus, though, stays in the hallway, because I don't need that thing watching me while I rest. No, thank you. The following morning, I had been digging through the fireplace. I had hoped that, well, maybe the manga I burned by accident could help provide me more insight? Even if it was set on fire, there was still a chance there'd be at least some salvageable parts, right? Well, he is just something. Well, let me skip now. It will not. Okay, I think this whole- all of the ending is- <laughs> I think I'm not allowed to skip anymore. Um, it's worthless. It's all burned up. Even when I try to pick up a tiny scrap that could be something, it just turns to ash in my hands. Guess I won't be getting any more use from that book. Just then, Croven stepped in. He was about to walk past me before I called out to him. Croven! Yeah? Where are you going? I'm going out. That isn't exactly an answer. <laughs> it is. Is it important again? Yeah. Who wants to know? Sorry, I... Just wanted to ask if you might help me with this. <laughs> Maybe when I get home. This is something I have to do by myself. When will you be home? Later. Okay, bye. Rude ass. <laughs> Kroven walked out the door shortly after that. He still didn't tell me where he was going. 
I was about to leave the house myself, but if I go out now, it might look like I was following him again or something. I didn't want to upset him. I figured I'd just stay here and play with the soot a while. But then... My phone went off. I checked the notification. It was a message from Reginald. Talk about perfect timing. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Ah, uh, that does not look as cool as it did in my head. My sincerest apologies. I'm sorry, I wanted to ask, are you not here today? Hmm? Am I not where? The cemetery, you goof! The cemetery, of course. It's a bit cloudy today, but I figured you'd wanna- or you might wanna be here before any rain started. Oh, you're there right now? Indeed I am. No real reason for it, I was just passing by. Thought I might see you if I stopped in, though I suppose not today. That's okay. Well, actually, I was gonna head into town pretty soon and visit the cemetery myself. I just wanted to check on some things, that's all. <laughs> There's been a lot of stuff happening that I'm trying to organize. Oh, I'll just wait here for you then. What? No, don't be silly. Even if I leave right now, it'll still be a while before I actually make it there. I don't mind waiting. I mean, are you sure? Don't you have something better to do? Oh, that sounds really rude over text. I'm sorry. <laughs> No worries. I think I'll still be here a while. Maybe I'll be here when you come on down? I guess we'll see. Well, alright then. I'll leave in a few. Guess I'll maybe see you there? I guess you maybe will. <laughs> we gotta get that proposal super perfect and ready to go. Nah, this bitch destroying the headstone, isn't he? <laughs> that's, that's what's happening, isn't it? Tidied myself up, made sure I had everything, and then walked out from the cabin, waiting for the next bus into town. Wait, are we coming up on the on them going on a date? Are we coming up on the aquarium? <gasps> I wondered on the way there if Reginald really would still be waiting for me once I made it. Of course he's gonna be waiting for you. Don't be silly. I mean, I suppose I had no reason to doubt it. I just don't understand why he would want to wait for me. Surely there are better ways he could be spending his time. I still need to get yelled at. How bad? Oh! Twyla! Oh, yeah! By nice owl. Wait. Fucking Twyla. <laughs> Surely there are better ways he could be spending his time. Especially if he's got a day off today. But maybe... If he is free, maybe he'd be willing to help me figure this out. Right. Nice. <laughs> and then we have... Is all, does that, all that happen before the aquarium? Jesus Christ, we're much further behind than I thought we were. Oh, The bus skidded to a stop at its usual station. I just felt like we were making such good time, because, like, compared to the last time we played, we're, like, leagues ahead. Oh, yikes. I hopped off and walked in the direction of the cemetery. The aquarium is one of the last things in this route. Ah, oh, dang, okay. I hopped off and walked in the direction of the cemetery, and before I knew it, I was walking past the familiar metal bars that led up to the cemetery gates. It's okay, we can click really fast. But... But caramel hair. <laughs> There's our boy! Whoa, you're actually still here? Indeed I am! I told you I'd wait for you, didn't I? I mean, yeah, but... I don't know. I'm just a bit surprised you're actually still here. I mean, I know I find the cemetery exciting, but I don't think many others share that same sentiment. Weren't you bored out here by yourself? Not at all. I also don't mind doing uh, another cosplay stream at some point. <laughs> we can always do this again. Not at all. Uh, in fact, I think I've grown even fonder of it. Really? If I'm being completely honest, well... I think I've even been visiting it more because of you. Hmm? It's hard to explain, but even when you're not here, it still feels like you are in a way. Like, all the care you put into it, it it really shows. Uh, but don't take that the wrong way. Even if the cemetery always give, gave off your vibe, I think I would much prefer the real deal. <laughs> I simply like being reminded of you here. You, you like the cemetery because it reminds you of me? 
Indeedly so. I hope that isn't a strange thing to say. No, it's really nice, actually. I've never heard- Mary! <laughs> I heard a familiar voice shout my name. We didn't sound happy. I turned around to be greeted by... <laughs> the fucking music! Twyla? I hadn't heard from her in a while. Yet, despite this, she looked like she was fuming. That was not the face I wanted! <laughs> It's the face you got, though. Is this the reason you've been fucking? Or you, you fucking been ignoring me? Ignoring you? I sent you at least four messages this past week asking you to help me. <laughs> I forgot I bought some biddies so I could see Lady Kimmerald Kim booty again. <laughs> all the bits, all the bits. I mean, we gotta see Kim all the time. All the time now, right? Because she's so fucking cute. Precious. Including this morning. Not one response back. Did, did you? I, I'm i really sorry, my phone- Can it? As I've never- er, As if I've never heard that excuse before. I wasn't sure what to say. I didn't know what was going on. You know what, Mary? Fuck off. Here I thought you actually wanted to help me. But I guess I shouldn't expect to rely on anyone in this piece of shit city. Huh? What are you talking about? Shut up. Stop playing dumb. Quite the tongue <laughs> Please don't yell. Why? Also, fucking Reggie's face in the background. Hold on, I need to move chat for a hot second so we can all just, like, look at the... Reggie! <laughs> right? Absolutely. Reggie's just like, shocked Pikachu is what comes to mind. Except it's shocked Reggie. Are you gonna cry about it? Try to get me to pity you because you're sad? This may come as a shock to you, but I don't give a shit about your feelings. Especially not at this point. If you're gonna blow off helping people just to play around with some boy toy, then at least be honest about it. Reggie is not just some boy toy. But, also. <laughs> what? Despite how I may appear, I'm not a mean person, Mary. But if there's one thing I hate more than anything else, it's being disrespected. God, I just really, really hate flimsy, airheaded idiots like you. Here's hoping your precious little cemetery grows enough to fill the space in that empty head of yours. My god. Right? <laughs> He's my favorite boy toy. He is best boy toy. <laughs> See the show in your chest by his. He is <laughs> the audacity of Twyla over here. I ran off after that. I didn't know what else to do. Reginald called out after me. I definitely just read that as Regina. Like I missed the LD and I was like, who the fuck is Regina? <laughs> but I just kept running. Didn't want him to see me like this. The moment he decided to redact it. Oh, fuck. I was so embarrassed. How dare she embarrass our girlfriend like this? I wasn't even sure where I was going. Just anywhere away from here. I couldn't stand there a second longer. So I'd run until it seemed like I was far, or it was far enough away. Eventually I turned into a small alley. Tucked myself behind a trash can so that no one could see me. Oh, our baby. <laughs> um. And I just kept crying there. I'm a small- Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are a small alley. My favoritest small alley. Also, I want to know what this says, because it's the same dang writing. The things Twyla said. Oh, hold on. I need more liquids. Oh, God. Oh. More fluids. Sodas are great and all, but I need actual hydrating liquid. So make a <laughs> 
you gotta. When the opportunity arises, anytime alleys are mentioned, you gotta bring Allie into it. Um, I never even got any messages from her. I had no idea what she was talking about, but she wouldn't listen. Maybe, maybe it is my fault. Never even reached out to her. Maybe she's right. What have I been doing this whole time? I started getting so wrapped up in all this other stuff that I... Before I could think about it much longer, I heard my phone going off. Reginald is calling. I didn't pick up. The second it stopped ringing, I had received a text message from him. Are you alright? Where did you run off to? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Hold on, have we saved recently? <laughs> no. No, we have not. <laughs> None of your business, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't want to talk about it. Why is that? By telling you I'd be talking about it. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, but still, is it my fault that she got mad at you? No. I don't like how many options there are here. It's not about you. It was my fault. It doesn't seem to be that way. From the way she was talking, it sounded like I was an issue too. Please don't worry about it. Um, I am worried. Regardless of what the situation was, I don't see any good reason for Twilight to yell at you like that. who didn't follow through on things I said I would I can't blame her for getting upset with me even if that's how you feel I still don't believe her response was warranted I I can't help but feel bad about it though I feel like I've just been wasting so much time and now I just feel even more guilty about it maybe she was right to call me out like that maybe she wouldn't have if it wasn't such a big screw up Mary you're not a screw-up. Even if you felt she was right, that still doesn't make her delivery of it any better. Do you really think you deserve to be crying right now? How do you know I'm crying? <laughs> Reggie, where are you? <laughs> How many fingers are we holding up? Over a simple mistake or misunderstanding? I don't know. That's not how you communicate with people. I'm sure whatever the fuss is about, it shouldn't be making you feel like this. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No. Please don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. That might just make her more upset. Please, let's just forget it ever happened. If you're sure that's what you want. Well, if you don't want me to talk with her... Do you at least want this umbrella? Huh? Fucking hell! Reginald! Hello, hello, hello again. What are you doing here? It's a good scream, but it, it was- it did act- it did spook me a little bit. I was joking when I was asking him if he knew how many fingers I was holding up. <laughs> he always looks cute, though, let's be real. What are you doing here? Well, you ran off, and it's supposed to rain soon. I was worried you might get sick being caught in the rain with no cover, so I brought this. Did- were you always holding that? <laughs> Does it really matter? Kind of? <laughs> Come now, let's go. If it's going to rain, well, I think that's more than enough waterworks for today. Don't you agree? Oh my god. Reginald let me out of the alley and helped me find my way to a bus stop. This is... different. Because I think we just, like, walked home last time, didn't we? He said he would have liked to spend more time with me, but it looked like it might get stormy soon. 
and he wanted to make sure I got home safe. I thanked him and told him I hoped he could hang out again soon. Okay. Does this mean we're headed in the right direction? He agreed. You haven't left yet, right? Hello? Are you there? I'm here. Sorry. You responded a bit late. Um. <laughs> the fellow was originally black. Ah, so he pulled a Bloodborne. <laughs> Do we... Caught in the rain? Skip doesn't work. Okay. Uh, yeah, I broke. I broke it. <laughs> ah, it's the it's the cereal. Uh, the things Twyla said to me still itched at me, but I tried not to think about it too much. There was only so much I could be doing, right? I just tried to not think about anything right now. I just wanted to enjoy my breakfast first. Checking my phone and thinking about what I'd do that day. I never got the chance to try and inspect that grave the other day like I planned. Maybe I'll do. Oh, I received a text message. It was Reginald again. Good morning, Mary. I hope you're feeling better today. Yeah, I guess a little. Hold on, when did we save last? I'm like panic saving all the time now. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta save all the time. Um. Yeah, I guess a little. Well, that's good to hear then. Say. I'm not busy today, either. If you've still got those errands you needed to do, I can help today. I don't know. Do you really want to? Yeah. You've helped me with my errands before. I think it'll be fun. Hmm. Alright. I'm just finishing breakfast, but I guess you can. Uh, you can meet me at the cemetery again, if you really want to. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I made plans to meet with Reginald at the cemetery again. I didn't feel all that confident as I left, but... Well, whatever. Whatever. It's not like what happened yesterday would happen all over again, right? And then it does. So I went. And I'd say it was like I was having deja vu, but... I did experience the scene before. There you are. Yep, here we are again. Are you alright? You seem nervous. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna keep moving forward. Besides, once we start looking around, I'll be too focused to worry. Hey, speaking of, do you know, like, other languages? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, follow me. I'll show you. It's what I've been busy with. I led Reginald through the cemetery, winding my way back to where uh, I found that mysterious grave. I brought him over to that tree, to that area, right near the edge of the fence. But... <clears throat> huh? I don't know who could have seen this coming. Definitely not me also. Oh! Oh, dear me. How upsetting. What happened? I... I don't understand. Perhaps it was lightning? We did have that storm the other night. Th that can't be... I... I never heard any thunder. Or anything like that. Mary? I ducked to the side of the grave. Oh, I got like a hair like tickling my cheek. Oh god. Um... It couldn't really be broken. It couldn't. Oh, you poor soul. I'll I'll fix this for you. Somehow. I I didn't even know their name. You didn't know his name? I thought you knew the names of everyone in this place. I I do. It's just that this headstone, the language that was on it, I I couldn't understand it. And I think whoever it was might have been trying to tell me something. Mary, I'm sorry, but, well, it's just, that seems a little silly, doesn't it? Especially if they had to die before they could send that message to you. But it, 
It wasn't just this. There's more to it. There was also... Oh, come with me. Well, thank you for hanging out as long as you did, Pixelated. I'm so sorry we would have gone so long. Um, our streams are usually only three hours. But again, thank you for being here as long as you have. I super duper appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your nights. Um, here, come with me. Mary, I grabbed Reginald's hand and began to hurry to the library. And Arcade didn't draw it because we can't have them holding hands, apparently. It felt as if I couldn't run fast enough, especially with how we kept trying to slow me down. If we go very fast, I believe we can. What's all this about? I'll explain more once we get there. He kept following me and I kept bleeding. I had to show him what I was talking about so we could understand how big of a problem this was. We entered the library and I quickly but quietly guided him over to the manga section, but... Huh? Mary? Is everything quite alright? What did you want to show me over here? Stupid! Stupid! Ugh. Why am I always such an idiot? Reginald began to coyly look at his phone while I berated myself from the, in front of the empty shelf. How could I have been so careless? I should have checked out all the books for safekeeping, and, and now every one of them was gone. They could be in a garbage truck or being shipped somewhere else. Somewhere far, far away right now, for all I know. Stupid, stupid, so stupid of me. Uh, Mary? I've gotta go. Huh? You're leaving? I thought you were gonna help me today. Yes, but... Well, there's something I have to attend to. Huh? But... You said you weren't gonna be busy today. Right? I know, but something came up and, well, are you alright? Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm? Looking at you like what? Like, like you think I'm weird. What? You know I don't think that. You, you think I'm crazy. You think I'm just the creepy ghost girl, right? The ghost girl at the cemetery who talks to herself because she's crazy? That's what you're thinking, right? Mary, I promise- No, no, it's fine. I- I also have somewhere I've gotta be. I- I've gotta go. Mary, please don't do this again. I promise I- I was at the door before he could finish. Though, I was sure I wouldn't- It wouldn't have been long before a librarian shushed him anyways. I skipped all the silly stuff this time. No alleys, no losing track of where I've been. I just hopped on the first bus back home. I heard my phone buzz all the way uh, back, but I didn't look at it. <laughs> Can you imagine, though? <laughs> this whole thing was a ploy just to propose to Mary. I couldn't. I knew Reginald, Dre I knew Reginald was going to try to be nice about things, because that's just the way he is, but I just couldn't look right now. I didn't want to look at it anymore. I didn't want to be around anyone. Too bad I was stuck with myself. I filled the rest of my days with distractions, allowing it to just pass me by. I didn't want to think about it. I'd dust until my arms hurt, and I'd prepare dinner hours in advance. Because if my mom mind was preoccupied, I wouldn't have to listen to myself think. So I filled up the rest of the hours with any distraction I could find. And then, one last distraction before bed. Why me? I am having trouble understanding what you mean. Um. Why did you choose me? I think I would still choose to do this for you. I don't understand. I don't even know you. Don't worry. That's all going to change soon. I promise. Good night, Mary. Good night. Also, save time? Time to save? Save time. <laughs> I didn't sleep well that night. Everything just started to feel bad. Was it all just in my head? Am I just losing my mind? What am I even doing? It's not like anything I do will help mom and dad come back. So, what's the point? Why am I trying so hard? 
I woke up in the morning and followed my routine of washing up and putting on some fresh clothes. Picked up my phone, and the second I did, it was perfect timing, apparently. It buzzed in my hand the second I held it. A text message from Reginald. He's just hanging out by the window and hit send the second he saw us pick up the phone. <laughs> Poor Mary. Good morning, Mary. I don't know when you'll be awake, but I wanted to apologize for the other day. When I said I had to leave, it wasn't to get out of spending time with you or anything like that. I promise, but it was rude of me to do that. I promised to spend the day with you, didn't I? It was wrong of me to have left. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> it was wrong of me to have left. Reginald? I'm, t I'm, pick I'm picking up on what you're putting down. No, not at all. Not even a little bit? Absolutely not. I think you're very passionate, actually. And I admire you greatly for it. Really? Absolutely. Thank you. Reginald, you know, I'm not... I'm not mad that you had to leave. I just panicked. I don't know why. <laughs> I understand. I would be so disappointed in myself if we got this far just to end up getting the bad ending again. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, you may not be mad, but I am. At myself, that is. Not at you, of course not. I'd never be mad at you. Anyways, I I wanted to apologize for yesterday. I never meant to make you feel bad. I still feel awful about it. That's why I want to make it up to you. Oh, you don't have to do that. I want to. I think it'll help me feel better if I do. Will you be free tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Not like I ever really have plans anyways. Lovely. Uh, come to dinner with me, won't you? I'll pay in everything. My treat. Oh, Reginald, it's really not necessary. Please? It'll make me feel a lot better. And you can tell me about all the stuff from yesterday that I, that I never gave you the chance to explain. Hydrate reminder from Cyril! More water. Let's do it. We're in it for the long haul. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make it happen. Also, everyone else drink water, too. It's important. Not just to those of us who are drinking the- or reading the entire time. Never apologize for a lurk! I appreciate you being here regardless. Lurks are helpful and wonderful, and we're just happy to have you here. Is good. <laughs> um, well, if you're sure... Of course I am. Where should we go, then? Oh, I know just the place. Do you? <laughs> Dinner with Reggie? Hell yeah. Reginald told me about a place he thought I would really enjoy. I admit I had never heard of it, but I was willing to try anything, I suppose. Though, I always feel a little bad whenever I go out to eat somewhere. Always feels like I'm cheating on the diner in a way. Well, time passed. I did my usual things. Cleaned a bit, walked around the cemetery, but it was hard to do anything of importance. I was so preoccupied thinking of going out to eat tonight, it almost made me wish I could make time pass just a little bit quicker. And then evening began to roll around, so I made my way to where Reginald said the place was located. I was still feeling a little lost, until I saw him standing outside. A boy! This wasn't the place I remembered him saying he'd be at, or... Is it? Well, I mean it must be, if he's standing here, right? He looks like he's on his phone, but that's probably because he was passing the time waiting for me. And seeing as I was already a bit late as it is, I wasted no time in going to greet him. Loser <laughs> still Don't don't do that. Don't say that <laughs> Reginald, you <yoo -hoo. laughs> I waved over to him and then made my way over. I saw him jump a bit at my yell, and then he met me halfway. <laughs> Our beautiful babies. Mary? What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean? You told me to meet you here, right? 
yes, that's right, but... I mean, they might be too full for us, actually. I was actually about to text you and see if you wanted to go someplace else. I didn't want to keep you waiting. Oh? But we're already here. I don't mind waiting, you know. And I feel bad if you have to drive us someplace new. Oh, but I'd absolutely hate to make you wait. Really, it isn't a big deal. Well, I suppose if you insist, we could try. Reginald held the door open for me. I thanked him and walked inside. Although the place was pretty full, there actually wasn't any wait time for us. We were seated immediately. I figured as much. There was only two of us, after all. We sat at a table in the middle of the dining room. Funnily enough, as I took my seat, I began to wonder... Um... What kind of food do they even serve here, anyways? Thanks again for inviting me here. It was really sweet of you. I really, really appreciate it. Of course. It was the least I could do. You know, it's... It's kind of nice being able to eat it out at other places. I'm so used to my mom's stuff. <laughs> uh, that's right. You lived in that diner by the cemetery, yes? Yeah. There was never really any need to go out to eat. I always just used to eat at the diner because it was so convenient, you know? And it's not like we ever ran out of food. <laughs> so... Uh... What made you choose this place? Oh, well... It wasn't my first choice, honestly. But I thought you might like it. It is pretty nice in here. I suppose so. Though, I think the thing that makes it the most nice is the fact that you're here. <gasps> Flattery. <laughs> you... You think so? Of course I do. Anyways, I had been meaning to ask you for a while, but couldn't find the right time. How long have you lived here anyways? In our city, I mean. <laughs> I've always lived here. In that little diner of yours, right? Yeah, it's been around at least as long as I have. Hold on a second. I'm getting so sniffly. <laughs> Allergies. Don't act up now, please. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the sniffles. Um, and it always- it's- and it always next to that cemetery too? And it's always been next to that cemetery too? Yeah. <laughs> Mom and Dad always used to tell me it was a good- it was good for business. Well, I suppose that's true. <laughs> oh, good. It was the first place I stopped after my first funeral in that cemetery. And that's where I met you for the first time. Oh, that's right. Have you lived here long? Well, I haven't spent my whole life here. But I would say that I've lived here longer than anywhere else. Isn't that so funny, though? That we've both lived here for a while and we only met, like, a month or two ago? Yes, that is quite funny, isn't it? Who would have guessed that one day we'd be sitting in this restaurant together? Oh, uh, speaking of that, is anyone going to come bring us a menu? I know it's a bit busy in here, but... Yes, I'm sure someone will come soon. Oh, we can... So anxious. Oh? Suddenly... It was if... It was... Blah, blah, blah. It was if Reginald's whole demeanor changed. I didn't know how to explain it, but he seemed more... Clammy and nervous. Uh... Why don't you tell me about work? Do you know what you're gonna order? Oh, just whatever. I don't really care what I get. Uh, oh? Um, are you okay? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, why wouldn't I be? I, uh, sorry, sorry. Actually, I'm sorry. Would you excuse me for a moment? It'll be very quick, I promise. I just need to step outside for a moment. Y yeah. Of course, go ahead. Thank you. Bye, Reg Bye Reggie. <laughs> Reginald got up in a hurry and made his way towards the front. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a miserable experience. Not that any of us would say no to Reggie, but can you imagine? Why was he acting like this all of a sudden? Maybe he needed a smoke. I know a few people who get a bit antsy if they haven't had a cigarette in a while, like Croven, for example, but but Reginald never seemed like a smoker to me. Hmm. 
it's been a while or has it been maybe i'm just overthinking how much time has passed since i'm sitting here by myself people are starting to stare they look away quickly but i can see them it's fine nothing i'm not used to where is reginald though oh i got hiccups I was going to talk to him about the stuff I found, but no, it's fine. He's probably not interested in that stuff anyways, but I am concerned about what's taking him so long. Unless, maybe he... Would he... Maybe I should leave. I was about to collect my things and stand up out of my chair when... I whipped my head around to see what caused the noise. As did everyone else. It's another person with the case of the purples, isn't it? In that one second, there was already a crowd of people forming around one booth. I joined them. I couldn't see what the matter was until a few people moved in just the right way to let me in. Though, maybe it was better if they didn't. Ah, dang! A man was lying on the floor, shattered wine glass and spilled wine beside him. He had a familiar-looking liquid dripping out of his mouth. It definitely wasn't wine. It's true, that man is green, not purple. <laughs> you got me there. What happened? Is he okay? He, he's fine. He's okay. He just drank too much, that's all. But what about that black stuff? Hmm? Black stuff? Where? Who said that? Did he get a bruise? No one else could see it. Couldn't they see it leaking out of his mouth? People continued to cause commotion. I could hear the staff and the woman he was sitting with trying to explain to everyone what happened. That he must have just drank too much and they shouldn't panic. But how could that possibly be the case? Was this the killer too? Were they here? Were they still here? Yes. Reginald went outside and didn't come back in. Did something happen to him? Did someone get him? Is he in trouble? All that time I was sitting and waiting for him. What if he was in danger? What if something happened to him? Why didn't I check on him sooner? I have to go out there. I have to make sure he's okay. I have to... Reginald! Hello? <laughs> I sighed in relief. Reginald just looked at me confused. I put myself back together before trying or before speaking to him again. Reginald, you're here after all. Yes, yes, I apologize for leaving you earlier. I had to take an important call and well no, no, it's fine. I'm just happy you're okay. <laughs> Sorry we left you for dead, Reggie. Hey. But did he die? <laughs> He's fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Um, <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Uh, well, someone inside, they, uh, collapsed. What? I don't know. I didn't see it happen, but they just fell on the floor, I guess. They're trying to say just drink too much, but it doesn't look that way to me. I- why didn't you tell me early? I li- we litter- Reggie, we just found you. <laughs> We've just encountered each other again. We should leave, because that's- I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. It's alright. It's not like you had anything to do with it. Did you, Reggie? Reginald. Reginald grabbed me by the hand and led me to his car. It was parked out on the sidewalk, a bit of a ways away, so he didn't want to lose me in the dark. Especially not after what had just transpired. Jesus. As we pulled away from the sidewalk, I could hear the sirens of an ambulance from behind us. And as I looked into the rearview mirror, I could see their flashing lights as they pulled into the restaurant parking lot. Reginald said he wanted to take me home. After what happened there, he said he wouldn't really feel all that comfortable eating it anywhere else nearby. And, well, it's not like I could blame him. He told me he could drop me off at my house, but I declined. I told him to just drop me off at the bus stop. He didn't argue with me. He dropped me off at the bus stop, and I noticed as he parked across the street, I 
wasn't exactly sure why until I received a text message. I've always hoped that I would be It's true. Just want to make sure you got on safely. That was nice. The bus came as it always does. I got on and soon I was heading home once again. I hoped everything would be okay. I really did. Even if some people believe that I hope for the opposite. go out to eat tonight? What do you mean? Something happened at a restaurant near me. Was it you? No. How can I be so sure or so sure I can trust that you <laughs> trust that? I I don't even know you. Have you made it your choice to trust me? I hate when you say things like that. I want things to go back to normal. I hate that my parents are gone. I hate that everyone's dying around me. I hate things that I hate that things just keep getting worse. When is it going to end? When are you gonna give me give my mom and dad back? Will I ever be able to see them again at this point? Sorry if I'm giving you the impression. I guess we can just skip through all this. Why am I reading? Okay. <laughs> it's just it's just mystery number, you know, giving us the go around. Oh, Ugh, I can't sleep. What time is it anyways? I don't know what to do. It's so late and everything's so... Ugh. All I want to do is sleep. But every time I do, it feels like I'm just waking up half an hour later. <laughs> just go back to bed. Alright. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> I was going to say, I think we did cycle through the, the choices the first time that we went through. So it's like, as much as I like all of it, it's definitely like, alright, let's just get to the, the heart of the matter. I'll just shut my eyes again and try to go back to sleep. And hopefully the next time I wake up, it'll actually be morning. And I'll actually feel rested. Hmm? The little glasses on the screen! My phone had just gone off. Who was calling me so late? Reginald? Why is he calling at this hour? Is he alright? Should I answer it? Curious, I answered the phone. I was gonna say, is that even a question? Of course you answer it. But the call ended immediately as I did. That's strange. Should I call him back? I, I went to my recent calls and had attempted to call him back. I didn't realize until too late that I had accidentally video called him, too. That's literally my worst fear. Reginald! Uh, Mary! I can see you? I- Yes, I can see you, too. Sorry, I didn't mean to video call, but- Did you just- Did you call me just now? Oh! <laughs> did I? Many apologies. I must have dialed you by accident. Very sorry if I woke you up. No, it's okay. We- didn't actually. Um. Why? Why are you up so late? <laughs> You're fully dressed. Yes, I have no PJs. Why are you up so late? Who me? Just some work-related things. That's all. Why are you up so late? I just can't seem to sleep tonight. That's all. Oh, I see. It's just not sleep. <laughs> so we've heard. <laughs> Seems like you and me both won't be getting much sleep. So that's my night. But what about you? Are you feeling okay? Why do you ask? Well, you certainly look very tired. Yeah, I guess. But I just can't sleep. Sorry, you said you're busy, right? I shouldn't distract you. Hey, no, don't say that. <laughs> I'm glad to be talking to you at any time of the day. Why? I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble understanding. Every time we hang out together, it seems like something bad happens. I just feel like... I don't know. You're still so nice to me. I don't understand how you've gotten upset- or haven't gotten upset with me yet. Do people get upset with you a lot? Hey, no, it's alright. Just- I just enjoy spending time with you. Truthfully, I'm, uh... Someone who doesn't have a lot of friends. 
And it's okay living like that for a while, but it gets very lonely. And then I was invited to that funeral. The one I had met you at. I was surprised I had even been invited. I think it was just a formality, but I went anyways. I'm not sure why. Something just told me that I should. And then I met you. Honestly, I was surprised you even remembered me when we met back at the library. <laughs> of course I remember you. We talked quite a bit that day. Ah, oh, not the cloudy eyes! If I think about it, I can remember it well. It was a particularly cold day, despite it being summer. But the funeral was still held outside. It's how I was able to attend, after all. You stood right next to me. I noticed your red hair. I've never seen anyone with hair like yours before. Really? Never in my life. We didn't talk much during the service. Just a little blurry vision. <laughs> God damn it. But, well, of course we wouldn't have. Afterwards, you and the group you were with decided to eat at my family's diner. I didn't even know it belonged to you back then. But even still, I had sat on the counter by myself for a few minutes. But rather than sit with the rest of your group, you instead chose to come sit at the counter with me. Why did you do that? I don't know. I just felt like- er, it just felt like the right thing to do at the time. You just interested me. Yeah. I've been told I'm interesting before. You know something? I felt more comfortable sitting next to you than anyone else there. Why's that? I don't know. I guess it just felt like... You were someone like me. Someone alone. Besides, I had figured that I might not see you again after that day, so I didn't want to uh, didn't want to let it pass me by. But I guess I was silly to worry. You had to shoot your shot, man! Shoot your shot! Honestly, I'm surprised that you even remembered me. I feel like... Well... When I talk to people at the funerals I find myself in, I feel I don't really see them often, if ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your shot! <laughs> Make it happen! God! I love them! Maybe when they're visiting their loved ones again, but... Well, I don't know. I don't feel like anyone remembers me. They re may remember that somebody odd was there during that time, but I never know how much they really remember about me. Well, to me, I think it'd be impossible to ever forget you. Precious, precious children. I unintentionally yawned pretty loudly right then. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, don't be. Like we discussed, it's late. And I'd hate to keep you up. But, well, before we hang up, would you like to do something soon? Yes, let's go to the aquarium. Let's go right now. In the middle of the night, Reggie. I'll get dressed. We'll head out. It's fine. Like, what? I don't know, but I think we could- or you could really use something to brighten things up. Will you meet me by your old diner tomorrow morning? I've had an idea that I think will be even better than anything we've attempted before. Plus, I'd just really like to see you again. <laughs> Free the puffers! Get them out of there. Yeah, I think I'd like that too. Wonderful. But we- can we discuss the details of that tomorrow? more tomorrow? Good night, Mary. Good night, Reggie. Reggie? Oh, I'm so sorry. That just slipped out of me. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Keep it for me. I like the sound of it. <laughs> well, if you're sure. Well, here's Reggie. Signing off. Fucking nerd. <laughs> I love this stupid boy. I love this stupid boy! After that, I laid back down onto my bed. I felt much cozier all of a sudden. So much easier to just drift off to sleep. I was up and awake early in the morning, a bit earlier than even I had anticipated. I was unsure if it was because I had just or I just had so much difficulty staying asleep that night. <gasps> Hi, Mama! Hi, Bean! Hi, baby! Sorry. <laughs> Stupid fish boy, give him a kiss on his face. 
Mwah. <laughs> yes, yes, kisses, dumbies. Or because I was now feeling excited to see what it was that Reggie had planned. Regardless, I made my trip to the front of the diner as Reggie had instructed me to do. It still felt weird to see the place so empty, but I wasn't going to think of all that stuff right now. Today was going to be a good day. Definitely. And I was going to get my mind off things. Before I knew it, Reggie pulled up in his old car. He was smiling and rolled down the windows to say, Come on, get in. And then we were on our way. Hold up. Oh, Lamia, stop eating your food. I want to snuggle you. Uh, thank you again, by the way. No need to thank me. I've been needing a de-stressor myself, you know? Sometimes life- Sometimes life goes way- Ways you don't expect. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. And when that happens, it's nice to try and take a break. Yeah, you're right. Say, where are we going anyways? Um... You still haven't told me. Well, if I tell you, that might just ruin the surprise. Why has it gotta be a surprise? Don't you like surprises? Do you? Hmm. Well, no, not really. But still, I think it'll be better if it's a surprise. Hmm. Can I guess? If you want to. Hmm. I bet you're taking me to... The beach? <laughs> you think so? Because the weather's been so nice lately. Wouldn't, have I told, wouldn't I have told you to bring a bathing suit then? Well, we wouldn't go on the beach, beach. <laughs> you want to go to the beach, beach? Mickey Minjanj. Sorry. Uh, we just go to the boardwalk and walk around. Because something tells me you're not the kind to take to sand very well. Hmm? Good guess. So, I got it right. <laughs> Nikki Minjanj. <laughs> Thank you, Cyril. Let's go get away. <laughs> I can't swim. So, I got it right? No. I just think your guess also sounds like a pleasant idea. Maybe we'll plan a day for that, too. Hmm. Where else can we go, though? We're driving pretty far out. I don't think I've ever been down these roads before. Where are we headed anyways? Well, I will admit it's somewhere a bit out of town. It's where I bury all my bodies! But I thought that might be a good thing, too. Everything back home has been very... Purple, hasn't it? Hectic. Hectic, hasn't it? I think it's nice to forget that place exists sometimes. <laughs> I don't see the elope option here, Arcade. You're giving me false promises again. Do you not like living here? Mm, well, it's hard to describe. Dang cat's still eaten. Of all the places I could choose, I'm not exactly sure this would be my first choice. But you're still living here. That's true. But well, let's just say there's many other exciting places I could be. Really? I never took you as the type to look for excitement. Not in a bad way. I just mean, like, I don't know. You seem to enjoy the smaller things in life, like going out to the library or getting coffee. <laughs> no offense taken. I understand where you'd get that idea from. But life, uh, like, life like this does seem a bit monotonous. Don't you ever feel like that? Hmm, I guess so. I don't know. Things haven't really been all that monotonous in my life as of recent. <laughs> Fair point. Ah, uh, hey, we're almost there. Really? Mm-hmm. Just a few more blocks and... And then we can look at all the fishies! <gasps> fishy, 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 fish, 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 fish. When we arrived, I couldn't believe it. He had taken me to... An aquarium? Really? Also, look at her face. Look at his face. Look at their faces. <sighs> They're perfect. I couldn't think of anything more calming than watching the fish swim along. Do you like it? like it. I... I love it. Mama! What are you just standing there waiting for? Come on, let's go! Right, we must... <laughs> must look at our ancestors. Our distant relatives. I grabbed Reggie by the hand and dragged him inside after me. An aquarium. I was so excited. 
How did he know I always wanted to go? Look at you, Mary. Come on. Penguins! Oh, wow, that just got very loud. <laughs> I haven't been- er, I haven't been to one of these in so long. I didn't know they have outside animals now, too. Indeed they do. I think it's quite nice being able to see them up close like this. They're so cute. We obviously know what Reggie's- Reggie's looking for. He's not here for the fishies. He's just here to watch Mary. What kind of penguins are these anyways? Oh my, that's... That's not a very nice name at all. <laughs> Maybe they've done something to deserve it. No way. I refuse to believe something so cute could do something so bad. Oh, I don't know about that. It's jackass penguins. Also... I need to make this. I need to make this... This... This. This cute little outfit. Oh goodness, look at this! This cape is just the cutest! I will say, it seems very fitting for you. You... You think so? <laughs> Why do gift shops have to be so expensive? Do you want it? Huh? I don't mind paying if you wa really want it that badly. <laughs> I remember you mentioning that. Hold on, I have something similar. I'm go We're just gonna keep putting this all on hold. We're not actually getting through the game. It's not a manta ray. <laughs> but it is a ghosty cape that I made a while back. With this cute little... Oh god, alright. How do hair horns work with hoods? Hey! <laughs> This is the kind of stuff I used to make, uh... Hold on. There you go. Now you can see it a little better. He needs an ironing, desperately. But, uh... Yeah, he's got, like, a little bow. <laughs> Come here. That, like, clasps closed? Maybe? If I know how to, like, work a clasp? No, it just goes like that. God, I need to iron this thing. <laughs> I've still got this pattern around. <laughs> Manta hoodie co incoming. Hi, baby. You want to come here? I'm stinky. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good cape. It's very fun and very comfortable. Hi, precious. We also got a lamia here now. She's gonna sit in my lap. Get some. Get some loving. No, no, no. I'll. I'll think about it. <laughs> And I have my own money anyways. <laughs> if you're sure. Lamia, don't tear my tights, please. Look at the jellies. Oh, <laughs> look at all the jellies. Can you lay down, baby? Jellies? Yeah. What else would you call them? Fair point? They're so pretty. You know something? Despite their elegant appearances, I hear they're not very bright. That's... Pretty silly, I think. I'm sure they're smart in their own way. Well, I guess they'd have to uh, have to be to survive with the rest of us, huh? I don't <laughs> don't appreciate some of Reggie's uh, commentary there, talking about cute animals that haven't done anything to deserve a terrible name, i.e., serial killers, i.e., our boy Reggie over here. <laughs> the pretty things that are super dumb. Mary's not dumb. She's just naive. You know, when I'm running around, I always forget how nice it is to just sit down. That is, until I'm actually doing it. I can't remember the last time I walked this much. I know, or I know can't. I know can? I know I can? And now that we've got a bit to sit, what's been your favorite part so far? My favorite? Well, I think that's a really hard decision. I liked everything. It's got to be manta rays or puffer fish, right? Right? Though, I guess I really liked seeing... Gotta go with our boy. Because I think I said octopus last time. <laughs> puffer fish. Really? Even though I didn't want to see it scared, 
It was fascinating watching it puff up, so... I mean, I know that's what they do, but I've never seen, seen it in action before. I can see how you'd find it interesting, though I do admit I feel bad for the little ones. Stretching out like that, it's a painful process, you know? Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Poor guys. Some people own pufferfish, right? Are you freaking it? Oh no. That must be nice, you know? They probably don't get too stressed like that. Sorry, I've got Lamia in my lap and she's purring so hard right now. Hi! Are you so pleased with your lot in life? Good, you should be. You're spoiled. If I had a puffer fish, I'd all, or I'd make sure it always felt safe. Is that so? You do, you do got a puffer fish though, Mary. I'm sure, any puffer would be lucky to have you. How about you? What's been your favorite part? Truthfully, well, I think I just enjoy spending time with you the most. Hey, you can't say that. Now I feel like a jerk for my answer. <laughs> Don't. I just appreciate the company. That's all. Thank you again for bringing me. I'm having a really nice time. I can't remember the last time I had a day as nice as this. Thank you for coming. I'd go by myself, but where's the fun in that? I mean, I understand the value in time alone. Emmy! Isn't it precious, though? I want to go to an aquarium. Not even for a date. I just want to go to an aquarium. Go see some fishies. I mean, I understand the value in alone time. And honestly, I think I appreciate it more than most people. But always being on your own gets lonely, too. The last time I was at an aquarium and or a zoo was in Colorado, and I was stoned. <laughs> I was so stoned. It was such a good day. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Cyril, you're coming with us. We're going to, we'll, <laughs> we'll all drive like halfway um, and meet up someplace. I mean, hell yeah, fucking community excursion to an aquarium. Let's go. Let's actually go. I'm only, like, I am I was only half joking about it, but, like, seriously, like, let's go. Let's just, let's go. Let's, like, make this happen. <laughs> Can we plan for this? <laughs> Please? Oh, hi. Lamia's here for it. <laughs> like, I keep talking with other people about, like, but the potential for, like, Twitch cons and stuff like that and being, like, I have to make sure that, like, I see you there. Like, you gotta go so we can all, like, actually see each other. But it's, like, no, can we, like, plan a time to go to an aquarium? Like, let's go to an aquarium together. <laughs> let's make it happen. Uh, makes you go a little crazy, you know. Makes me glad I met you, too. I appreciate being able to share experiences like this with you. Yeah, I understand. Lamia, what are you doing? My god. Though, I'm kind of the opposite. Of course we're gonna go see the puffers! Oh, so you're welcome to come if you want. Like, this is this is open for everyone. Let's go. <laughs> Though, I'm kind of the opposite. I don't think I really like being alone that much. I think loneliness is miserable. You don't enjoy being by yourself? Even every now and then? Honestly? Not really. But you're always at the cemetery, aren't you? Yeah, but you're not really alone at the cemetery, are you? Forgive me, but I can't imagine what would make many friends there. I like to think of them as being my friends, you know? I mean, I am giving them flowers all the time. Somebody in there's got to appreciate it, right? Do they? I hope they do. I mean... I know I would. You would? Yeah, I would. Um. To know that someone's caring, even if they don't know me, that's a nice thought, isn't it? That someone you don't even know cares about you? I suppose it is. But doesn't it mean even more when somebody does know you? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, I think anyone would choose spending time with a friend over spending it with a stranger. Well, would you? Me? I... I'd spend my time with... A friend. Though, it feels... Like I'm lying when I say that. How so? 
Well, I don't have many friends. If any. Even the friends I do have... I knew him since childhood. So, does it count? Would he still want to be my friend if we had never grown up together? If the first time he met me was on the street or in a public place, would he even be my friend? Or just someone passing by? Still though, I enjoy the company of a few friends I do have, regardless of how we became friends. I think. I mean, you're my friend, right? Because I'm just... I'm really grateful for that. As well... Making friends hasn't always been an easy thing for me. I was actually kind of shocked when you shocked when you reached out to me, I guess. Why wouldn't I? You were always so pleasant to me when we spoke. Maybe, but no one ever, like, follows up with me. I was just a strange girl they met at a funeral once. We spoke about this, didn't we? I only really meet people through funerals. And, well... I can understand why I don't see them again after that. Who would want to be friends with that creepy girl who hangs out in the cemetery all day? All she does is stand there and talk to herself. I've got a nickname, you know. I heard him say it. Cemetery Mary. It's what they call me. At least, it's what the people who remember me call me. Do you like it? Mm. Yeah, I guess. It's better than nothing. Like, it's something. It means they remember me, you know? I don't know if it's necessarily the best name. Like, it makes me sound like it's a role of mine. That's Mary, and she's part of the cemetery. Is that... Is that all I am? If I'm honest, I like the name. You do? Yes, I think it sets you apart from the rest. You're not just any Mary, you know? You've got a title. And to share a name with someone you love so much? Isn't that nice? Yeah. I guess I never thought about it that way. It sounds nicer like that. I mean, I guess I can't deny how much time I spend there. Can I ask something? About the cemetery. Yeah, of course. Well, maybe it's not really the cemetery itself, but... The funerals. You seem to be awfully good at finding your way into them. So much so that it feels as though many don't get upset with you. It's quite remarkable, really. But I suppose my question is... Why? Why? Yes. What is it about, that, about them that makes you want to attend? Honestly? I think they're sweet. The idea behind them, at least. It's... Tragic to lose a friend, of course. I've felt that loss more times than I'd like to think about. I've felt it pretty recently, and it's terrible, but there's something wonderful in the process, I think. Have you ever seen so many people get together in one place? People always call out for things. They can't make it to your birthday, they can't be there for the holidays, but everyone comes to a funeral, and you know why? Because they love that person. Whether they were their best friend or they hardly knew them, they still come. Because they impacted them enough to come. They meant enough to them during their life that they came to say goodbye. The more people there are, the more you know how loved they were. Can you imagine that? Being loved so much, having so much of an impact on someone else, that so many people come to your funeral. Oh my god, hiccups. Because they'll miss you. And because they love you? I see. That's why I like going. Because you can feel it. I can feel how much people loved the deceased. It's heartbreaking and heartwarming all at the same time. I've never thought of it like that. But I want, uh, I want to now. That must be such a beautiful feeling to experience. And such a beautiful way to look at it. Sorry, this section still just, like, gets me. Oh my god. Um. Fuck. <laughs> I'm worried. Hmm? 
Everyone has so many people who care about them. Even after they're dead, they'll, uh, they will all have a moment where, they, uh, where they're surrounded by friends. I don't have friends. <laughs> like, no, like, straight up, like, the first time that we went through this, I, I didn't cry, but I was definitely, like, super moved about it. Um, I'll ramble just very, very slightly, and then we'll keep moving on. It's like, having, having worked with the deceased for as long as I did, um, at such a young age that I did, and also just experiencing death in my life from a very young age, um, like, my great-grandmother died when I was like four and a half five years old um and it was very like clearly explained to me as a child and stuff like that and we've always my family's always had like this very open view on death and the fact that it is sad but it's like you're here to celebrate like their life and everything that they've done and stuff like that and it's just ugh, it's it's lovely it's beautiful <coughs> excuse me <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good. It's, you, d you did good. You did good with this section. You did good with the whole game, but this section, man. Oof. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm worried that no one's gonna remember me. Hi, baby. Don't bite. No bites. And now I got a dry throat. It's fantastic. We got this. Mary, that isn't true. I know that I can't speak for other people, but I hope you know that I'd care. And I'd never forget you either. I... I don't want to sound like I'm crazy, but... You've had more of an impact on me than anyone I've ever met before. I'm like you. I don't have many friends, and... After meeting you, well... I think I realized how miserable it really is to live like that. I didn't realize how bad it was... Until I actually had someone I could call up my friend. And to think that you think that if you were gone you wouldn't be missed. That's unimaginable to me. I... I don't think I'm a very memorable person. But if it means anything, I can promise you that you are unforgettable. I'll always remember you. In this life, the next, and the one after that. And that's a promise. You're my best friend, since I can't choose a boyfriend option. I don't think anyone's ever been so nice to me. Just because they liked me so much. I've never had a friend quite like you. You're my best friend, let's kiss. Mwah! <laughs> it does help a bit. I don't like to think about it, but even if there's only a few people who'd remember me, or even just one person. It makes me happy knowing it'd be you. Of course. I can never forget you. <sighs> Our boy! It's been a few days since then. I felt a lot closer to Reggie ever since our day at the aquarium. Although, he's been so busy with work, I haven't gotten to see him, uh, to see much of him since. Let's get. I said, look at that fish. <laughs> the, the creator has deemed we click fast. <laughs> Gotta return to the chaos. My head started to hurt again and I felt very dizzy. Took a small rest sitting down by myself. Told me told myself that I wouldn't let myself Hi. Sorry, I just need y'all to like look at this little lump that I have and how sweet she's being. My stupid sweet child. <laughs> my snuggly little bug. After being outside on my feet all day, I'm having one of those familiar headaches. <laughs> No, if we don't have enough points to, to do the ending, murder. Murder's the only option. Also, yeah, lump cat. Look at her. Look at her go. I'm, like, literally just holding her back feet and, like, pressing her up against me. And she's like, yes. Yes, I love you. <laughs> I 
Hi. Mwah. And now we kiss. Mwah. Oh, right. The movie theater scene. Fell asleep in the cemetery and it's all bad. Everything else seemed closed. How late was it? I don't want to pull out my phone. I wasn't sure I was going to do or what I was going to do, but I had to find shelter first. Lump, lump, lump. Movie theater with all of your friends' art. All the good, good art. <laughs> Hi, Bean. Why isn't he picking up? Oh, right. Crovin. Crovin's being like, man, I'm busy. And we're just like, Crovin, you're always busy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set you back in my lap, okay, Bean? You can be a lump in my lap. Okay? Okay. No can do. <laughs> Got plans with friends. Crovin's probably like trying to plot a murder or something. <laughs> Hi! Uh. Crovin hung up on us. Well, there's only two of those. Ugh. <laughs> Whatever, girl. We have a cute boyfriend, though. <laughs> we don't need no dumb cousins. It's all about our favoritest boy toy. Hey, we're not fighting. I know you're very excited and you love me and you're trying to show me that love, but we're not fighting. Okay? Okay. Sorry, Lamy is getting nippy. We gotta call Reginald, obviously. Decided to call Reggie. I didn't want to bother him, but I really didn't think I had any other choice in this scenario. Okay, I gotta set you on the ground, girl. I love you. Keep being cute and precious, but we'll get to snuggle when it's bedtime. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Gonna have to wait until I shower after stream, too, because, oh god, the, the amount of hairspray in my hair right now. Um, I heard the phone ring a few times, and then he picked up. Mary? It's a bit late, isn't it? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, actually, I kind of, uh, missed my last bus home. And I was hoping maybe I could stay with you tonight instead. Yes, yes, of course. I was gonna say, what? <laughs> I forgot about this to an extent. Um, I'll be right over. Thank you. I guess I forgot it was this late in the game. I told Reggie I was at the movie theater, and he said he'd be there in no time to come get me. I was really grateful to have a friend as generous as he is. I hoped I would one day be able to return the favor. Jammy time! I saw the faint outline of Reggie's old car pull up on the side of the movie theater, and I went out to meet him. Even though it was raining, he still got out of the car and held the passenger, passenger door open for me. I told him it was silly to do that. I hope I wasn't too late. Caught me in the middle of getting ready for bed, actually. And I wanted to get rechanged. Didn't feel right to leave the home in pajamas. <laughs> you're only saying that. It's a cover. We know you don't own pajamas. No, no, you're good. We drove off to Reggie's apartment amidst all the rain. Because it was so late, there were hardly any cars on the road, so it made the drive a bit safer. <laughs> right? We pulled into a parking space next to his building, and he covered me with his jacket as we ran inside. We're close. <laughs> so sorry, I wasn't thinking. I should have brought an umbrella. I didn't mind. Of course you didn't. That means we get to stand close to Reggie. Mm. We stepped inside to the familiar buzzing of fluorescent lights. And quite frankly, a pretty gross smell that still lingered from the last time I was here. From the dead landlady! Reggie didn't mention it, though. Now I've got cat fur all over my face, and it's not great. Oh, God. So I wasn't going to either. I didn't want to potentially embarrass him or anything like that. Reggie led me to the stairwell, and we headed upwards. I'd forgotten how high up he lived. Once we were in the hallway, Reggie began to lead me to his apartment. I tried to be quiet as we moved through the hallway, not wanting to disturb any of his neighbors. I noticed a few boxes and other junk outside of one of the doors. Was someone moving? Lots of people have been moving out recently, he whispered to me. Not like I can blame them. The landlady hasn't spoken to us in a while because you murdered her! Oh god, burps. 
<laughs> got too excited about that. I think they might take her to court soon. I see. Then, before I knew it, we were entering his front door. Well, here we are. It looks much nicer now that it doesn't have a purple hue over it. As someone who enjoys the color. Was it? It's not for your apartment. I apologize for the mess. If I had the foresight that you were coming, I would have cleaned ahead of time. I looked around Reggie's apartment. Is this what he considered a mess? Nothing even looked dusty. Thank you for having me over. It's nice to be here again. And I can get such a better look at it this time now that I'm not all sick. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Oh, but don't worry about sleeping on the couch or anything. You can take my bedroom. It's right next to the kitchen. I'll sleep out here. Huh? Oh, no, Reg, I couldn't... You already drove me out in the middle of the night to pick me... Or drove out in the middle of the night to pick me up. I can't take your bed, too. Nonsense, I insist. You'll have a much better sleep, I'm sure of it. But don't you have to go to work in the morning? I'd feel awful if you couldn't get a good night's sleep. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Nothing is... Oh! Oh dear, I just realized. Hmm? What? Is everything okay? You don't have any pajamas to wear, do you? Huh? Oh. Don't worry about that. I can sleep just fine in this. How can I not worry? No offense, but although your outfit is quite the ensemble, I don't think it would make for a very nice sleep. Why don't I go out and buy something real quick? <laughs> Wiggling my eyebrows. Uh, yeah, I can't. My eyebrows are perpetually worried right now, so they're kind of stuck, but... <laughs> Why don't I go out and buy you something really quick? No way. That's... It's really nice of you, but I can't accept that offer. It's so late and I doubt anywhere is even open. Oh, well, uh, when there's a will, there's a way. He's just gonna go pick up some of the clothes from some of his previous victims. I think he's had at least three that were of a similar size to Mary. <laughs> Besides, I need to pick up uh, some things anyway. So please, make yourself at home. Help yourself to anything in the kitchen and don't be afraid to turn on the TV. I'll be back shortly. Oh god, Catfur. Before I could protest anymore, Reggie was out the door. Leaving me alone in his apartment. We can just watch TV. The others are filler. <laughs> I guess all I could do now was wait for him to get back. What should I do that, uh, in the meantime? Let's watch the TV. And I mean, we, we creeped around the last time. <laughs> the best thing I could probably do right now was just watch some TV and wait. I plopped myself onto his couch and turned on the TV. There were some commercials playing, so I didn't know what show was on yet. Hmm. What's on at this hour anyways? Before I knew it, I heard the sound of a door unlocking and Reggie was walking through the front door. I watched as he walk, uh, locked the door behind him, dropped off some of the plastic bags he was carrying, and shrugged off his coat. He left one bag in his room, and then proceeded to put some stuff away in his kitchen. This is fair! Go to sleep, Cyril! Thank you for being here as long as you have- Also, before I forget, we need to talk about Bulb Boy at some point, because oh boy was that a game! <laughs> But, no, thank you for being here. Thank you for the compliments. I appreciate it. Um, excuse me while I continue to, like, rub cat fur off of my face. Um, but we love you and adore you. Thank you for being here as long as you have. Even when you were lurking. I love it when you lurk. I love it when you chat. We just love you. Take care. Sleep well. E. <laughs> uh, he left one bag in his room and then proceeded to put some other stuff away. Then he came to sit beside me. What are we going to watch now? <laughs> so, what are you watching? Oh, I, uh, I don't know. Nothing in particular. Well, would you like to watch some? I like this. I like that we just skipped everything and went, it went straight for the television. So essentially, like, Reggie stepped out into the hallway, waited a couple of seconds, and then stepped back in with all these things being like, oh, what a trip. And it's like. It's been like 10 seconds, Reg. My dude. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> uh, well, would you like to watch something? Or would you rather just head to bed? He had made pajamas himself. <laughs> just out in the hallway, just poof! 
We got PJs now. <laughs> hmm. Now that I think about it, I can't remember the last time I actually watched something on TV. Reggie passed me the TV remote and told me to put on anything I'd like. He wasn't picky. Maybe we can watch... Murder Mysteries? Can we go with Murder Mystery again? <laughs> Is this acceptable? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We're doing it. Yeah! <laughs> I flicked through a few channels until I found this one. I figured as much. He said he liked he likes mysteries. So let's go. I was playing a murder mystery movie. It seemed to be taking place on a train of all places. It started a detective and his a detective and his young sidekick. It seemed fairly interesting. Do I watch it? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? This is what you've chosen to watch? Don't you judge me. Do you not want to? No, no, nothing like that. I'm just surprised. With what with all that's been happening in town and all. I felt like you might stray away from this type of content. I don't know. I'm interested. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Reggie and I sat and watched TV for a while. It was pretty nice. Though, eventually I started to feel tired. I think Reggie could tell too. I yawned as I stood up off the couch, thinking once again for letting me use his room for sleep. It's not a problem at all. I left the pajamas in the bag for you. I think they should fit. Good night, Mary. Oh, one last thing. If you need to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, I know this apartment can be a bit difficult to maneuver in the dark. There's a flashlight in my desk drawer if you need it. Just try not to shine it on me while I'm asleep on the couch. I thanked Reggie once more and wished him a good night as well. I do think it was a bit funny, though. Does he not know my phone comes with its own flashlight if I need it? No, we've been over this, Mary. He doesn't know technology. <laughs> I took a step into Reggie's room, closing the door softly behind me. I flicked on the light switch and it turned on a lamp at the other side of the room. It gave off a very faint light, making the room very dim. I'm sure it looked better in natural lighting, but right now it was a bit hard to see. Still, it looked as if Reggie didn't have very much in his room at all. I could see his bed and a nightstand, and a vanity too. Was this the desk he was talking about? Other than a built-in closet, there was nothing else I could really see in here. Though, I guess when you have a whole apartment to yourself, you don't need to shove all your stuff into the bedroom. I reached down and gathered the pajamas he had bought for me. They were simple, standard pajamas, though they felt really soft. I'll have to remember to pay him back for these. I got changed and left my clothes on the end of the bed. Then I crawled into his bed. It felt and smelled really clean, as if it had been recently washed. Even though I felt cozy, I still felt a bit weird and bad about sleeping in Reggie's bed. But I guess it was too late now. It's okay. I'll just have to find some way to make it up to him. The way he always does for me. I laid back down and closed my eyes. Nothing left to do but sleep. We're coming up on it, aren't we? Oh no. Here we go! <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't remember this, but it was a while ago. Hmm. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> okay! Saved. You're right, we haven't saved in a while. I just got so, like, tunnel tunnel visioned into, like, getting this done. I woke up to a throbbing headache. It was like I could feel my heart beating in my head. And each beat was another surge of pain. What time was it? Peering over to the window, I could see it was still night. Ugh. All I want to do is go back to bed. But I definitely can't sleep with a headache as strong as this. Does Reggie have medicine? He's gotta have some kind of painkillers, right? I don't want to steal medicine from him, but I'm... I'm sure he'll understand. There's just no way I can stay like this. It feels just like all this intense pressure building in my head. I have to do something. I pulled the string on the lamp next to the bed and it lit up. It was still as dim as before. I went to go reach for my phone. My phone's not here. I could have sworn I put it here before I went to bed. Reggie stole it. 
I got up and checked my clothing. It wasn't anywhere there either. Maybe I left it on the coffee table outside. Whatever. I can look for it in the morning. Right now, I just need to be able to see. I guess it's a good thing Re Reggie told me about that flashlight. <laughs> How indeed! I walked over to the shadowy outline of the vanity and leaned down, opening the drawers. It was still a bit hard to see what everything was, though. It had been in here, though, right? Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Great options. Do I grab something? Grab something. Or grab something. I reached in and tried to grab something. It felt round like a flashlight, but when I held it up to the light, I could see it wasn't that at all. Excuse me? It was some kind of container. I hadn't really seen one much like it before, and inside was a bright pink liquid. It reminded me of stomach medicine. Don't drink it! <laughs> Mary, whatever you do, do not put it in your mouth. <laughs> was, was it? I unscrewed the cap and took a whiff. It definitely didn't smell like medicine. It smelled almost like maple syrup. What was this? What's it doing in here? I don't know if I want to keep holding it. I could make a comment, but I will not. <laughs> What's this? I reached in and tried to grab something. It felt round like a flashlight, but when I held it up to the light, I could see it wasn't that at all. Reggie! Reggie! My boy! <laughs> my bud! If you... It's almost like he wanted us to find it. It was some kind of container. I hadn't really seen one much like it before. Inside it looked like... Strands of hair. My <laughs> stock. Oof. It was hard to see against the light. But it... It seemed like it was a similar color to my hair. Oh no. But this couldn't be my hair, right? Why does he have this? I don't know if I want to keep holding it. <laughs> I reached in and tried to grab something. It didn't feel like a flashlight at all, but I couldn't help but grab it and try to make sense of it. It felt like small individual paper-like pieces <laughs> just just put the hair back in it's fine holding them to the light I tried to get a better look at them oh Reggie my boy honey honey <laughs> the baby this this is me right I don't understand why are there pictures of me in here? My <laughs> honey darling sugar plum. <laughs> Baby boy, we gotta talk about healthy ways of approaching women. <laughs> like, first off, do not stalk them. <laughs> I I don't remember any of these. This is uh I mean it's It's not that bad, right? Oh, oh baby! Oh baby Mary! <laughs> My sweet, naive child. I keep pictures of my friends all the time. Yeah. I put the pictures back in. I was feeling a little weird. All these things in this drawer. Why did he have these? When did he get them? My mind was running loops. But I tried to keep my composure. I... This was Reggie. He was always so nice to me, so nice. I reached in one last time. The pain in my head only increasing with each item I removed. And even though it was difficult to see, I could hardly believe my eyes. Reggie! It was a necklace. My mom's necklace. The special necklace dad gave mom for their anniversary that was 
stolen right out of their room the same day I caught that terrifying stranger. I mean, we we knew it. We knew it. We knew it the first time we went through that it was Reggie. It was... I mean... Oof! <laughs> oh, God. I felt like I was about to be sick. Again. Reginald... What is all this? What's... What's wrong with you? Aren't you supposed to be my friend? Is the... Is the Reginald I know... even a real person? I felt dizzy. I felt sick. The room felt like it was spinning. My head throbbing. I tried to stand up, collect myself, but when I caught a glance at the mirror... Oh dang! <laughs> Oops, all eyes! I don't understand. What is this? My head it hurts it's like my heart is beating in my head but no that's not it it's pulsing uh, oops all eyes i can't explain this pain it's indescribable all of this i oh dang i need to get out of here I changed back in my normal clothes as quietly as I could. I didn't want to make too much noise. And I certainly wasn't going to leave my clothes here or keep wearing the ones he gave me. Not after... I still didn't know where my phone was, but that didn't matter. As long as I could get out quickly and quietly, I wouldn't have to worry, right? When I was sure I was ready, I approached the door. I quietly turned the hand. He's going to be like right outside the fucking door. And pushed it open. It was pitch black in the apartment. I couldn't see an inch in front of my own face. The front door, it's not that far, right? If I just took my time, taking slow step after step, surely I could make it without notice. I took a step forward, holding my breath like my life depended on it. Because it must have at this point. Step. 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 I reached my arms out in front of me so I could feel for the door as soon as it was in front of me. Step. 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 Is Reginald a light sleeper? Is he even on the couch like he said he would be? I can't hear him snoring or even breathing. Step. Step. Stop. I felt the wood of the door. Carefully, quietly, I trailed my hands to the doorknob. It's locked. Of course, you'd always lock your apartment at night. I unlocked it since I was on the inside. It's stuck? No, 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 please don't do this to me. I can't stay here. I can't stay here. It's, it's open. Thank goodness. Mary? He's behind me. I can feel his breath on the back of my neck. What are you doing up? <laughs> I'm just trying to find the, the bathroom. Oh, Mary. That's right. I forgot to tell you. There's something about me you need to know. I can tell when you're lying. What do you mean get my mouse ready? I ran as fast as my legs would carry me, trying my best not to trip over any of the junk in the hall. Okay, well, with that said, I, I'm gonna save again. I ran as fast as my legs would carry me, trying my best not to trip over any of the junk in the halls. I yelled out for help, hoping that someone would hear. I made my way to the staircase, stepping as fast as I could. Oh god, you're gonna make me do a quick time, aren't you? It still didn't seem fast enough. I felt like I was choking on my own adrenaline. I had to catch my breath at least for a second. No! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> I felt a sharp pain in my head. And I can't remember anything except for that.
Oh, dang. <laughs> huh? Where am I? What happened? Ugh, my head. Wait, I'm... It was Reginald. He... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. What's happening? I tried to move, and then... And then we get amnesia. <laughs> but I'm restrained. I tried to yell, but my mouth is sealed shut. Perhaps it's better if I don't yell. It might let him know that I'm awake. But what am I supposed to do? I, I have to get out of here. I, I heard footsteps near the door. <laughs> oh, Reggie's glasses are broken! You're awake. Thought you might uh, might be awake up around now. Might wake up around now. Hi, my boy. Good morning, sunshine. How are you doing? You've had quite a night, haven't you? You must be exhausted. Uh, I bet the stalker broke. <laughs> what is this? couldn't say anything. My mouth is taped shut. Oh god, I've got like hair on my face. This is the worst time for this to happen. Oh, right. Oh, his little fangs! I suppose you can't say much like that, can you? I Take that tape off you if you promise not to yell, but that's never worked for me in the past, has it? But I mean, you and I, we've got such a connection. I'm sure I can decipher what it is you're trying to tell me. No. That sounds silly, doesn't it? <laughs> Makes me sound like I'm crazy. But it doesn't change the fact that I can understand you. So, go on. Tell me what it is you want to say. Oh god, hold on. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. How long have you been following me? How long? Well, I don't think that really matters, does it? I mean, should it matter? Would it really be any different, depending on how much time passed? <laughs> right? Why do you have fangs? No, the answer is because it's adorable and perfect. That's why he has fangs. I just feel as though that's so unimportant. I followed you either way. Isn't that what counts the most? You know, Mary, this is really nice. Being able to talk to his little blushies, oh my god. Isn't that so nice? It feels so natural, so freeing, but you can't see it that way, can you? That's so sad. And after all I've done, the me that's before you right now, you don't even know him. I must like, look like a completely different person in your eyes. That is, that is tragic, truly. You, you don't know me. You never, ever know me. And the real me is someone you wish you didn't. How much longer am I going to keep doing this? I hope this is the end, but despite it making me so miserable, there's something that I love, or that I love, or there's something about it that I love, too. We can see if you can turn her head. Not allowed. Maybe it's just because you're part of it all, you know? No matter how many times it happens. At least you're always something to look forward to. What am I saying? Can't even understand a bit of that, can you? Are we- it's- it's all looping. Everything's looping until we get it done properly. I think I can! I can! I can! <laughs> even like this, you've got a sense of humor. That's just darling. Or maybe that's just you. You're- well, to keep it short, just say that I adore you. Say, Mary? Uh, well, I... I'm just curious. How much do you know about me? Or perhaps it's more appropriate to say... How much do you think you know about me? Oh, Jesus. I appreciate that they're all like, I think. Um, because I think I've pieced some of it together, but... Right? Why is that not- well, Can I- can I get an uh, I adore you too option? Just 
forget all this whole like how much I know about you. Like I adore you. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I don't- I don't know. Yes, yes. I do suppose it would appear that way. I just feel like someone entirely new. But I have to wonder, would it matter to a sheep if they were unable to see a wolf in sheep's clothing when the sheep was blind to begin with? Oh, our poor Mary. You know, Mary, despite what you may be thinking of me now, I did so much to try and make you happy. You love funerals so much. So I tr tried to provide you with as many as I could. Oh, Reggie. Oh, you misguided, <laughs> sweet child. But as he said, there's something wonderful in the process. And I couldn't agree more. Now, don't give me that look. It was all for you. But, of course, you don't appreciate it, do you? I mean... Not as if you ever do. Oh god, Reggie, baby, let's- <laughs> I try so hard and for what? You're never satisfied. If it never works, then maybe it's time for a change. And I should start trying something else instead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm scaring you again, aren't I? I don't mean to ramble. It's just, I don't get many opportunities to really talk to you like this. So I tend to take advantage of times like these. But that's stressing you, isn't it? <laughs> I'll stop now. You should get some rest after all. As I said, you must be exhausted. And you'll probably appreciate having that energy later. We've got a big day ahead of us. Enjoy your last morning here. Even if you must enjoy it asleep. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> well, I think I've said enough. Once again, I apologize. I... Didn't, didn't mean to ramble so long. Just gotta finish setting up everything. It won't take too long. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You literally actually can't. <laughs> love, 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 love. I felt tears begin to roll down my face. <laughs> he was already he just left. But this, this can't be it. This can't be it. There's, there's gotta be something else. Some way out of here. I can't, I can't just, something please, anything. Please help me. I just need to get out of here. This can't be how it ends for me. Please, please help me. Since you asked so nice. Our shadow? What? 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 Oh, huh, what? <laughs> what? What happened? I'm free? Well, not free, but I shouldn't think about it right now. I have to focus on getting out of here. Okay, okay. Be calm about this. What's the first step? Grab the rope. There's nothing I need to use that for right now. Okay, well, excuse me. Pull the tape off. I reached up towards my mouth to pull the tape off, but quickly stopped myself. If it hurts and I scream, then Reggie will be alerted right away. That's the last thing I want to happen. I'll just leave it on for now. Okay, then let's go for the window. I stepped towards the window and looked out. It was still dark outside. I had hoped that since this was an apartment, there might be a fire escape on the window I could use to get down. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything of the sort attached to this window. But it looked as if it was my only shot of getting out of here. But how? Rope. I mean, it's. I feel like it's a bad deal no matter what we do. Because, like, if we use the rope, then we'll tie it, we'll start crawling down, and, like, we'll get partway, and then Reggie will realize that we're getting out, and then he'll just cut the rope, and then we'll fall to our deaths. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 <laughs> I agree with Travis. We should just stay until Reggie gets back. There's not enough rope here to reach the bottom of the building. Even if it was a bit longer, the ends, uh, being so frayed just make me feel nervous. Is that okay for rope? How did it even fall apart like that anyways? Check the wardrobe? 
Freddy's a reasonable man. I trust him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Step carefully over to the wardrobe in the room. I try to be light on my feet. I didn't want Reggie to know I was walking around. Thankfully, the wardrobe wasn't locked. I tried to prevent it from creaking as I opened it. Ah! More rope and boots! Yes! There's more rope in here. This should hopefully be enough to get me to the bottom. Just aggressively waggle our eyebrows when he shows up. <laughs> yes, absolutely. This should hopefully be enough to get me to the bottom. Even though things were looking up right now, I started to hear Reggie's footsteps stomp outside. I have to get out of here before he gets back. Hurriedly, I tied one under the rope to the exposed pipe. I would hoped that it would be sturdy enough to hold my weight and that the knot I tied would be secure enough to not fall apart. I tossed the other end out of the rope. Er... Tossed the other end out the window. The rope seemed close enough to the ground for me to get out safely from here. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, Mary. Ow. It's a good thing my mouth was still covered. I didn't expect to slide down so fast on such a rough rope. I felt a tear through my skin like scissors on wrapping paper. Don't bring scissors into this. Oh, the little blood drops on her hands. It's fine. I just have to be more careful going down the rest of the way. Oh god. I made it to the bottom somehow. Okay, good. Aside from the raw and slightly bloody skin on my hands, I was safe. I was safe. I had to keep it that way. Oh, dang. I ran out of the alley I had escaped into and onto the street. Once I was out, I noticed the sun finally starting to rise up in the sky. Hearing him say earlier that we had a big day ahead of us, it made me wonder if that was his alarm to come back and get me. I wonder if he knows I'm gone by now. It don't matter, you gotta keep running, baby! Further I got down the sidewalk, the more people I began to see lining the streets. You can probably take the tape off your mouth now, too, by the way. People getting ready to leave for work, sanitation workers starting on their, uh, their routes. It made me feel safer. I began to remove the tape from my mouth. I just ripped it all off at once and tried to keep from letting more tears follow the pain. I tossed it out onto the street, uh, into a street trash can and then... Maybe I should have contacted help first, but I was so tired. I just wanted to go home. Mary! <laughs> you big old dummy. I love you, but ugh. I kept my hands hidden and folded the entire time as I got onto the bus. I didn't want anyone to see and start asking me about it. I'd take care of it once I got home. He knows where you live, child. Home. I couldn't get there soon enough. The ride back to the stop felt like forever, and on top of that, I still had to walk to the cabin. Even though my hands felt like they were on fire, I felt a strange sense of calmness as the leaves and grass and sticks of the forest floor crunched under my feet. She wants to go home, but home is Reggie's. He's even been inside. Right? Just, Mary, I need you to think about this for two seconds. I understand that you're tired and you don't feel good. And, like, you've had a rough, you've had a rough go of things. I understand, but, like, boo. I felt a strange sense of calmness as, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nothing could hurt me here. That is incorrect. <laughs> Even though I knew that wasn't true. Okay, thank you. Before I knew it, the cabin was in my sight again. It, was that Croven? Maybe you should, should call Twilight. <laughs> Outside, smoking on the porch. I then he, I thought he went out last night. Whatever, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm... I love Reggie, but I'm, I also love Mary and I want her to be okay and I am scared. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter now. Croven! I called out. My voice still felt a little weak. But I think it was just because of how exhausted I was. Croven! Croven! Picked his head up to look at me. Okay, there for it. Again, for a hot second there, I was expecting him not to move, and then we come over and just find out he's been like stuffed or something. Ugh. Ran over when he did. Oh god. <laughs> Seeing ex his expression, I couldn't help but start to cry. I'd let a few tears escape here and there, but now finally feeling complete uh complete safety. 
guess I couldn't help but just let it all out. You've had a rough time, honey. Let it just let it go. Just get it out. I tried to explain to him what had happened as best I could, though I feel my thoughts were scrambled and probably didn't make much sense altogether. Real monster of the story is my imagination. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you just gotta ask Emmy about some of the stuff that we've written and some of the shit that I have done. Boy, howdy! <laughs> um, I guess Jody too. Jody's seen some of the horrors with uh, Monster of the Week and the like. Oh boy. I tried to tell him about Reggie, about how I thought he was my friend and that I trusted him, how I found things that belonged to me in his room and how he tied me up. How my hands got all scarred up from my escape and that it was my only way out. He listened to all of it without saying a word. Just that look of bewilderment on his face. Hi, Devo. When I was finished is when he finally spoke. Hey, hold on for a second. I watched him swing around the back of the house and heard the clang and noise of a few objects. Then he walked back out front to meet me. Hey, Mary? Where did you say this friend of yours lives? <laughs> Crovin, no! I just want to... <laughs> Boy, really... Boy really pulled up. I just want to talk. Where are they? I just want to talk to them. I just want to have a conversation. I stopped Crobin from doing anything heinous. I begged him that, even though the police aren't always the best option, to please call them in this scenario. He agreed to do so. Perhaps I shouldn't have been there during the police investigation. But I felt like I had to be. Besides, I needed to be able to show them where he was keeping me. But wouldn't you know? It was the strangest thing. Because it was as if Reginald had completely disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Stalkers and serial killers have contingency plans, usually. You also gave him a lot of time to get out. It wasn't just as if he was gone, but everything surrounding him was gone, too. His car, sure, but all his personal belongings as well. The books he had, pictures he had, everything in the vanity. And not even just that. All his cabinets were empty, as well as his fridge. No clothes in the closets. It was as if uh, this was an apartment up for sale. Oh, hiccups. I overheard one of the officers' walkie-talkies. Supposedly the little workshop he ran was empty, too. How could this be? It had only been a little over an hour since all this happened. There's no way that's enough time to pack up everything and just leave without a trace. In the midst of the investigation, I noticed an envelope clearly left on the floor. All of the officers seemed to step around it, as if they couldn't see it. But it was in plain sight. I picked it up. It's been a few weeks since then. Things are back to the way they were before I met him. I don't see any crazy symbols anymore, get weird bouts of pain and dizziness as a result. That intense pressure I used to feel, it's like a far-off dream now. Reginald is gone. He's simply gone. Nothing that belonged to him is here anymore. No one saw him leave, and some of his neighbors don't even seem to remember him. Like, they had no idea they had that neighbor, despite him claiming to have lived there so many years. It almost felt like he never existed at all. But I know that's not true. Reginald was definitely here, and was as real as anybody else. In other, better news, the rate of deaths in town has sharply decreased, and no one spreads rumors of a crazy killer anymore. I'm happy about that. I haven't received any messages from the mysterious number, though. Every time, the time I send something out, I never get a reply anymore. It's like all the people I knew were disappearing. Just like mom and dad. 
said everything that belonged to Reginald disappeared. But that's not true. Not everything did. Um... Sorry, now I'm getting an OPS message. Okay. It's a it's it's been a bit, sound alerts. Hey. <laughs> the envelope left on the floor of his apartment. It contained a note. Addressed to me. Mary, I must have given you quite a fright. You looked so scared of me. I wish I could say I wasn't used to seeing that face. I understand that none of this is going to make any sense to you. It hardly makes sense to me. But I hope you can believe me when I say that what I did was only because I truly cared about you so, so much. And I know that even if you were able to see my reasoning, you wouldn't agree. And that's because you're such a good person. But I'm not. However, that's never stopped you from being my friend before. So the next time we meet... I hope we continue to stay that way. Yours forever, Reginald. Dear Reginald, You're right. I don't understand why you did what you did. And I guess I'll never know now. But even knowing the truth about you, I wish I could say it was easy to say goodbye. It isn't. Not even a little bit. It just feels like I lost a friend. And it's miserable. I wish I could understand why you did all that. But I just can't. So I hope the next time we meet, you'll explain it to me. Why did my phone light up? <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Okay, I'm a little spooked. Um, as soon as we swapped screens, my phone lit up, but there's like no notification and I didn't touch it and it's nowhere near. I also just, I, you can't really see it, but my background is Reggie. <laughs> what the fuck phone? Okay. Um, did it? Oh, uh, okay. We've just completed the route of Cemetery Mary. <gasps> okay. I'm sad that I missed the screen, but I loved that. Also, I think I under I think I I think I have an understanding of what's going on. Um if it's my my initial thought is, ah heck, reincarnation. <laughs> ah heck. <laughs> um we got the good end, though! If I had dodged properly, would that have changed anything? I mean, I saved just before that, so I'll probably check that out at some point on my own, but, you know. <laughs> um, that was the good end! <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see the problem here, Jody. <laughs> problem? <laughs> I mean, he didn't kill us. That's a pretty good end in my book. Um, let's... Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry, headphones. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I'll, I'll still have to do that properly. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you missed the first playthrough? Okay, it is, um, oh, maybe I haven't uploaded it just yet. Maybe that's what I'll upload tomorrow, because I think I just finished uploading all of, um, all of Bioshock. Bioshock should be done as a series on YouTube now. Uh, so maybe I'll start uploading Cemetery Mary tomorrow. Um, you should definitely watch it, though. <laughs> so here's the thing, Alex. I can love me my murderous, stalking, terrible, awful, awful characters in a <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice in my in in fiction because they can't actually hurt me. I don't obviously I don't support that kind of stuff IRL, but like my fictional boys, let me get hurt fictionally. <laughs> I love Reggie. 
<laughs> I don't expect people to understand. I mean, absolutely. Mary needs to, uh, Mary's got some, some serious therapy she needs to go through to figure some shit out. But, like, Reggie. <laughs> but Reggie. Um, I fucking loved that. And now I'm very excited to get through all the other endings. Like I said, I probably, I'll probably do that on my own time. If y'all want to know more, you gotta, you gotta go support Arcade and download the game. Get it for yourself. <laughs> it's good. It's good visual novel. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm sure he's got his reasons. I'm sure. <laughs> But no, let's be real. My like, my my fictional type. Well, my re some of my real life type, but my fictional type is big beefy ladies and serial killer, terrible boys. <laughs> it's how we do in uh, Acacia Land. Um, but no, this was wonderful and so much fun, and I loved it. And I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna play through more and check out the other uh the other routes. And like, you will, you will hear from me. I'll probably like post about all my fun stuff, uh, in the spoiler, uh, spoiler section, and, like, figure out what's going on there. Also, yeah, Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi, but we, we all love Kim. If you don't love Kim, I don't trust you, because <laughs> Kim is perfect and darling and precious. Um, <laughs> Our sweet, sweet boy. No, this was super wonderful and lovely. And oh, geez, we've streamed for five and a half hours. Sorry, y'all. Thanks for sticking around as long as you have. Love that. Um, goodness gracious. Let's. <laughs> there are. I don't have anyone to raid right now, and that's probably for the best. We might just end it here. And not raid unless people are wanting it, but it's like 11.30 and I am gonna need to take a shower still and <laughs> de-cosplay. My hair is gonna take forever to like de-horn, but I really like this and if I can find a better way to do it, I might do it regularly. No, so I fixed the water heater now. The, the pilot light keeps going out um, and so it should be warm now. I'm gonna be very upset if it's out again and it's cold again. I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> um, hopefully it's hot. Oh, God. Not even hot. I just need it to not be freezing. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you had a lot of fun, Arcade. Seriously, like, it means a lot to me that, like, you, you had fun with all of this. I mean, it's your game, and I totally understand, like, wanting to check out people's reactions to it and stuff, but just the fact that you also enjoy the content is very, very wonderful, um, and I love it. But yes... We'll end it here. We'll make sure to raid somebody tomorrow night. We're usually very good about doing raids. I'm just exhausted and it's late and I think we should all we should all think about what we've done. We should think about everything that has occurred here tonight and why I still love Reggie because I still love Reggie. <laughs> but yes, I love you guys. Take care. Um, reminder, I am planning on doing Bad Ben tomorrow in the Discord for our uh, Saturday Horror Fest at 11 a.m., um, Central, and then uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow eve afternoon, 3 p.m. Central, uh, with more Bloodborne. This is gonna be great. Also, I saw, I saw, <laughs> I think I commented on the 69 bits. Nice. Um, but until next time, I love you guys. Take care. Sleep well. Mwah.